One, two, uh, welcome, welcome. Test, test. Christmas hype. Last show of the year as well. Who's in the chat? Let us know. <laughs> we have a five. Sit tight, we'll be starting soon. for a better Christmas karaoke. Are we live? Is this thing on? Okay. Welcome, everyone, to... The last show of the year, which is uh, <clears throat> here on Airliners Live, of course. And um, we're loving it. We're loving it. Welcome, welcome, everyone. My name's Andy. We've got Martin as well. He's just nipped out. I think he's running back already. Let's get some names in the chat already, shall we? We got Carl in the chat. Steve. Melissa's already there. Captain Mark Langston's in the chat as well. No way. Leap is saying 5 5. Awesome. There he is. Man of the match. Welcome all. Just getting me, uh, me elf hat, you know what I mean? <laughs> there we go. Oh, we're in costume as well. Oh, no way. That's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> Are we ready? Are we on? We're ready, yeah. Go ahead. Take over. I will jump up on the camera. Oh, have you switched scenes already? Yeah, yeah. I was, uh, I was trying to work out where we was then, what part of the show we were up to. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yes, as always on the Christmas show, we dress up like idiots, guys. Hope you are all well. Happy, happy midweek show to you we do have the uh, virgin atlantic a330 on the taxi out so we will cut to that as well i'm gonna hide this big box of cables who says airliners live don't have enough cables? oh yes <laughs> oh. got plenty plenty and there it is um does that look straight to you no okay <laughs> let's get in there yeah, it's getting there, yeah. 
Fantastic. Welcome to the Midweek Show, everyone, here live on the final show of the year, of course. Hope you're all well and hope you're all settling in nicely, of course. Do you have a camera today? I do indeed. It ain't on. <laughs> uh, is it plugged in? Uh, so where's your... Which one is it? The black one. Virgin Atlantic A330, 300 on the taxi out. Look at that beauty. Taxi and L2, runway two here today. The wind is picking up as well. Love to see that. There we go. We got some playing audio. And we got lots of support coming in in the chat already. Let me stop that music because... Mr. Steve Barnes gifting five airliners live gifted memberships to the community, supporting wow. the channel, kicking things off with a bang. Thank you very much, mate. Really, really do appreciate that. Thank you, Steve. And uh, Jim C with the 449 Super Chat saying, Merry Christmas to all airliners live, everyone in the chat. Can't stay due to work, but I will watch it back later. Goodbye, everyone. Take care, Jim. Uh, hope you have a great day, mate. And thank you very much for tuning in uh, this morning. Yes, um, while it's Virgin Atlantic's on the way out, guys, I'm going to make sure our guests can get up the stairs. So stand by. Stand oh, yeah. by. Guest is on the way. Yes, we have a special guest today. He's come a long way to be on the show. Sue Lawson, hello to you. I got cookies. Loopy's in the chat. John Fez is up already. Wow, this is early. And, folks... Stick around till the end of the show if you can tune back in or if you um, are watching this on playback. Uh, stick around till the end of the show because we will be showing a debut of a, uh, a new video. And it is the highlights from 2022. All our favorite moments. One big edit. And we have uh, Terry returning for 10 months of business class membership. Saying uh, Merry Christmas to all the airliners live family. Look at that Virgin rocketing off there. Looking fantastic. Woo! Yes. Um, we got a bit of support to catch up on, but guys, our guest has arrived. Yay or nay in the chat, you want to see our guest? Should we hear our guest first? So everyone thinks you know who it is. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Who is Merry that? Merry Christmas, everybody. Bosh, here he is. You got Sander as well, everyone. <laughs> Sander's arrived. He's well busy. But we rang him up, we said, listen, Sam, the airline is live midweek show, you know, last one of the year, and what did you say? I said, I'll come down for it. Yeah, you had your sleigh uh, all ready to go. my big sack from Santa here <laughs> with all its goodies. Listen, we won't talk about Santa's yeah, sack, obviously. not about that. <laughs> not about that. I came to see these boys because they're on the nice list, unlike that Fezzer who's on the naughty list. Yeah, we know Fezzer's on the naughty list. Yeah. And uh, there he is, there's our camera elf doing a great job up there. Little elves Looking on the roof. Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we do this to ourselves? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's worth it though, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Welcome to the Airliners Live Christmas special. If you've not been here before, if this is the first year that you've been on an Airliners Live Christmas show, guys, then this this is this just happens every year. It's like it? these and the birthday shows are the two ridiculous shows we do a year. Other than that, we're we're, we're a bit serious. We're pretty well behaved, aren't we? Yeah, I most mean, most of the time. Yeah, most of the time. But there you go. Um, loads of people in the chat. Sada! There you go. <laughs> I know him. <laughs> <laughs> loads of people in here. And we got loads of support to catch up on as well. Is our support view going to work? Shall we see? Bosh. Has it worked? Has it updated? John Fezzer member? Yeah, there it is. No, I don't, think, I don't think that's up to date yet, is it? Let me, uh, <coughs> let me go back to main cam. This is what I think it is going on. Let me have a look. 
Oh, maybe it did work. Maybe it did work. But we had... Oh. A Wookie. A Wookie. Notch down, not exposure one as well, Andy, when I be able to Yep. We had Jake Danson returning for nine months of premium economy airliners live membership, saying nine months already. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you very much, Jake. Nice one, Jake. We had John uh, Tarrant returning for three months, premium economy member. Thank you very much, John. And uh, Terry Edwards returning for 10 months of membership, saying Merry Christmas to all the Airliners Live community. And uh, Mark with the huge £20 super chat saying, thanks for getting me through some bad times. Hey, Mark, thanks for helping us out as well, mate. We really do appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. And uh, thank you very much for supporting the stream today with a huge, huge super chat. Mrs. Airliners Live's in the chat as well, working today as usual. Um, we have Eccleston Angel, uh, returning premium economy member. Thank you very much for that. Mr. John Fezzer saying, where's my invite? <laughs> With a 30 <laughs> And uh, did we have anything else? We did. We had Hayden Appleyard with a two Australian dollar super chat saying, four days till Christmas. Where has the year gone exactly? Exactly. Oh, for real? It's it is updated. It is updated. Okay, is it, Bosh? It's What's gone it? so fast this year. Uh, I mean, like it, before we know it, it was like August and then September, yeah. November. And now it's coming on Christmas now, this weekend, of course, on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, it's coming. It's coming quick. We had uh, oh. Dan Bond. What are you seeing? A proper airliner. A proper airliner. It's a proper airliner. Going Let's off. have a look. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Dan Bond returning for nine months saying Merry Christmas guys thank you very much Dan hope you're doing well mate and uh, Beastie Lucy fan Lucy fan sorry with a £10 super chat saying hey guys and everyone in the Airliners Live community have a very Merry Christmas uh, thanks for all the great content this past year looking forward to 2023 happy solstice and best wishes to uh, uh, from Sam thank you very much really do appreciate it thank you very much for supporting the channel Thank and, you. Uh, yeah, we're uh, we hyped. We don't mind being a little bit daft at Christmas, just a little bit. Yeah, it's, uh, winter solstice today as well, the shortest day of the year, and um, luckily it's not too sunny for us here. Um, and um, it's crazy driving here, and the sun rising so late. Like I left the house at yeah, about half eight, and it was it was pretty dark. It's yeah. Very it's uh, been pretty cold as well. It doesn't look as cold as it is, actually, I don't think. Yeah. It's uh, it's definitely gone back to being chilly. I think it was supposed to uh, pick up a little bit, but we'll see. We will see how we get on. But there's a 757 ready to depart. Not a bad start to the midweek show, is it? It was very dark in the North Pole when I left this morning at 10 oh, to 4. It? Oh, yes. Let's yes. get the rain days up there. The rain beers, oh, they, yes. Yeah, so the rain beers. The rain beers. The oh, main, right. The main beers. You start your day, yeah, so we all start that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, gave me very arny last night, so I'd fly a bit faster. Oh, God. No, thank you. <laughs> Let me uh, turn up the outside audio for this and uh, enjoy. Absolutely love it. 
757 is one of them planes that you can you can see it wants to get airborne. It's just leaning back with all that power it's got and the uh, yeah and the um, the ideal um, you know aerodynamic design just to get it up in the air. It's great. Um, and we also had uh, Michael Holland returning for six months of membership, saying "Merry Christmas, guys! Love the outfits." What outfits? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bill Stewartson as well, also supporting the channel this morning uh, with a 4:49 super chat, saying, "May I be the first to wish everyone a very happy Easter?" <laughs> with the 449. <laughs> nice, Bill. That best day of the year. That was 10 out of 10. I'll give you that. Best comment of the day so far. That was nice. But no, we're um, looking forward to a decent bit of aviation today. We're going to be live, of course, um, until the usual, usual time. Um, but do not forget, if you are not a uh, VIP of the channel, guys, um, then now may be a good time to sign up. And I'll tell you for why. Because... There is going to be, um, maybe today, most likely tomorrow, um, some Airliners Live test streams. And don't be like, oh, we're going to get a full show, four hours, five hours, none of that. Half an hour, 20 minutes, an hour, depending on how it goes. We'll be stopping, changing, editing, coming back, on, yeah. off, on, off. It's not going to be a constant thing. We're going to be stopping, starting. But we're going to be testing 4K, guys. 4K. We've got the kit, it's arrived, it's ready, and uh, we're looking forward to testing it. That is going to be a VIP-only test. All of our tests on Airliners Live are VIP-only. So if you want to get yourselves involved, uh, hit that dollar symbol, then click Join to become an Airliners Live VIP, or click the links from Nightbot in the chat um, to get yourself as a YouTube VIP. Very important, you have to be a YouTube VIP um, because we're going to be running those tests as a VIP-only stream on YouTube, guys. Um, so if you're on Facebook, maybe look at moving over to YouTube. Um, but yes, maybe today, but most likely tomorrow, we're going to be testing the 4K kit out for our VIPs. And hopefully in the new year, we'll be coming online with Airliners Live. So fingers crossed. But that's how uh, yeah. that's how the next couple of days are going to go. Yeah, Am I a VIP, said David? Uh, no, you need to have a tower badge next to your name, David, in the YouTube chat. That's yeah. how you know if you're a VIP or not. So there'll be links from Nightbot which say become one of our fantastic VIPs by clicking this link. If you click that link and sign up, guys, um, you will get access to our 4K test streams. Yep, it's only a test. And from next year, we aim to bring uh, the Manchester shows in 4K. So, And that'll be for everyone, of course. Yeah. But there's all sorts of improvements, like with regards to... I mean, we think... We're going to be able to push 4K um, with the connection that we've got. We've got options to um, improve the connection that we've got here as well. But even for the time being, if it takes a little bit longer, it's going to see a massive improvement anyway because there's a much higher bit rate as well, which we can achieve. So there's loads of improvements that we've seen um, already on the tests we've done in the office. So we're really excited to try it out down the airport. Very noisy Logan Air in from the Isle of Man. Left half an hour ago. Can your network handle it, guys? Well, we believe so, but that's obviously test number one, right? <laughs> Can the network handle it? There is options we have but the one thing that's good about the piece of so the piece of hardware sorry that we've got is it's uh it uses let's say a special process to get the video to the destination which is a lot more 
uh, efficient. economical, yeah. efficient yeah, yeah. than just a standard straight out of OBS into um, yeah into into YouTube or whatever. Yep. Um, it has a special way of doing it, so you can essentially they advertise um, that you can save about forty to fifty percent on the, bit rate. What's this on the uh, on the base leg? I can just see. Oh, barely see with my own eyes, but I just caught it. Let's see if we can see it on the stream. Is that it there? On the base leg, it's going to be the Air France. Just turning in now, yeah. From Paris, Charles de Gaulle left 53 minutes ago. I'll tell you what, this screen as well makes it so easy to see these little things in the sky. Does it? Yeah. That's, uh, we just pulled it up there, but um, that just reminded me to... Uh, we restarted the PC, didn't we? <laughs> Is that going to show? Oh, lovely. Shows exactly where we wanted it to. So, Santa, are you just a Santa all day long, or um, you do other things um, as well? Santa all December. Every, all December. Every single day I turn up at this airport in December and, dressed as Santa. And today, did you, you know, we just fly, did you fly into Manchester, did you? Oh, well, I, you know, I, I, I had my special, my special vehicle brought me down from the Grim North, <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, got there nice and early so uh, I could come see all you lovely people. Two, three left, was it? You came on, two, three right? <laughs> uh, it was more like M56, but M56. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fine runway when they finish it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, as you as you all know, obviously uh, our Santa is uh, very good friends with a guy called Pilot Mark. What do you think of Pilot Mark? Oh, Santa? he's 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 all right. Is that fat knacker? Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> he's all right. He's right. He's he's not as skilled as that Fezzer, though. I mean, that Fezzer, although he's on the naughty list, he's uh, yeah, he's quite something. Yeah. So uh, yeah, Fezzer's staying on the naughty list because we all know you mustn't drink and fly. You might spill it, and that would be a waste of good westerns, wouldn't well, it? Well, they certainly would. <laughs> we can't certainly have would. that. So but, yeah. um, if any of you haven't uh, met Pilot Mark before, um, he's a resident Airbus pilot here at Manchester Airport. So if you have any questions for him, Santa knows him really, really well. Yeah, I'll ask him. And he can probably just answer it. Straight away for yeah. you guys, just letting you know. It's a talent, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Yeah. Like, how long have you known Mark? Oh, all your life. <laughs> yeah, all my life. Yeah, all his life as well. Yeah, it's funny though. Yeah, yeah. And uh, also, you know, on on the VIP side of uh, Airliners Live on the Facebook page, there's regular pictures that I put up that people have sent me of me in flight in my sleigh and uh, yeah. pictures of me at the airport and. Some nice people lend me an Airbus in December to fly so I can get some practice in before the big day. Because my, obviously my sleigh is built by Airbus. You know. <laughs> is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a Boeing one? No, no, no. It's uh, unfortunately not, no. Um. <laughs> oh, what? What? Who's got the football on? <laughs> why did that play? Is that on your phone? Yeah, why did that I was play? like, who's got the football? He's up there. Just check on camera, man. Is he up there just watching the football? <laughs> Uh, I couldn't possibly say, Davey, um, but, yeah, not far from the, the truth, though. He's just asking who I fly for, but we don't say that. No, Santa we can't. Airlines we fly for. Yeah. Yes, it's a yes, we don't, busy uh, this time of year. Airlines don't particularly like pilots advertising who they're flying for, guys, so we never usually yeah. say, but, I mean, you can have a good guess. Yeah, There's stopped. usually a picture of Feather in the front of the plane, so it kind of gives it away a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Flight Zilla returning for eight months of... Uh, why am I struggling so much with this? Tier 1. So it says, they've subscribed for eight months, currently on a three-month streak. Right, okay, that's why I got confused. Got you. All right, boss. Flight Zilla, <laughs> thank you very much for supporting the channel. Thank you. And uh, Twitch crew, if you want to support the channel, don't forget to check them Twitch Primes as well. It really does help us out. Um, but yes, next to arrive with us is the Air France um, A320 and from uh, Paris. We've been watching this for a while coming in. Mm. All the way turning in from the base leg, flying all the way down the ILS, the Air France aircraft here. And Graham Hill with a huge 20 pound super chat saying, Wishing all the airliners live a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year for 2023. Keep up the awesome work, guys. Thank you very much, Graham, for all your support this year, mate. Really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Look at that visibility as well behind. Yeah, you can see right out, can't we? Yeah. And stick with the channel because pinging up on the ground, we do have the uh, Singapore 
A350, which is going to be heading out to Houston. So we'll be seeing an awesome heavy departure very shortly. I wonder if that's the one we've seen just come in before the show. That would have been a really quick turnaround, if so. Yeah. They might have the two, the two 350s today, mightn't they? Yeah. Uh, Sasha McCarthy with the 40 months business class membership. Welcome back, Sasha. Hope you're doing well. And uh, we also had Jorg 18J uh, sending in a 11.99 donation saying uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Keep it up, guys. Great work. Thank you very much, mate. Really do appreciate it. And Robin signing up to Premium Economy membership. So you're going to be on the 4K test streams, Robin. Yes. Thank you very much for that, mate. Just a reminder, if you do want to be involved in the 4K test streams, you need to be a YouTube VIP of Airliners Live. Get yourself signed up just as British Raven returns for three months. Thank you very much, mate. Have a great Christmas to you all. Three months already, he says. Yeah, it does go quick. I've got a message, a question from Dave. Yeah, I'm out. Uh, Mark's out in the Time Valley, Dave. Uh, not far from you, mate. Chris is asking about the 380 shoot deployment. Uh, what could have caused it? Um, so, sorry, what? Say that again. Chris is asking about the A380 where the, the shoot, the, the uh, escape slide accidentally yep. blew yeah. on Monday. Um, I can only think of two reasons. A very, very unlikely rare failure with the mech of the door and the slide. Uh, the more likely one is that the door wasn't disarmed and they went to open it by the jet bridge and uh, off it went. And what, what happened? So, just so people who are unaware, because it wasn't really like obviously on the news or anything like that um, well not that I know of uh, obviously an A380 flew in, I think it was the uh, flight 17 was it um, or was it the early morning one, I can't remember, into Manchester airport and I believe it had just arrived right and the jet bridge attached and they opened the door to the jet bridge and the, uh, the, the emergency evacuation slide shot out and luckily no one was harmed right but, um, yeah, we don't really know fully how that happened, right? It's like, mm -hmm. um, but I've seen some photos of it. The aircraft actually went to the maintenance hangar here at Manchester uh, and actually flew back out yesterday, last night, pretty much. These STS guys have been... Is it STS it went to? I think so, yeah. I was going to say, they've, yeah. like, they've been getting quite a bit of decent work recently, <laughs> haven't they? <clears throat> yeah. Hey, I did say as well... Um, you know how they were working their way up. They had an A321, then they had an A330, and then they had an A350. And I said, I bet you the next plane they get is an A380. And although it wasn't actually the next plane, they did get one. There you go, go. A380. That. So um, you were saying that usually that's going to be sort of, again, human error, isn't it? Yeah, more than likely. Um, more than likely. Yeah, most we don't airlines want to have the odd slide being blown so, here and there. So, so how could that be human error? Like, what happened, you know? Uh, you just, well, if that was to there's be a what process to disarm the doors that cabin crew go through, um, and then they check between each other, and something got missed on this one by the looks of it. Um, my airlines had it, um, my old airlines had it, uh, most airlines get it occasionally. It's just one of those things, unfortunately. It's a very expensive one of those things, but yeah, it's one of those things because they have. You even hear it. What what is it they say? Um, doors to door to manual normally. Or, yeah, uh, or just some yeah. doors for arrival, and then it's uh, yeah doors unarmed, uh, um, unarmed and cross checked. So they so cross check, check between themselves. So is that a where two people are checking that? Though? Yeah, they'll go. What they'll uh, disarm a door, and then they'll check that the other person has disarmed the door correctly. Um, so if you're on a smaller aircraft, or a big aircraft like this, I have no idea how they do it. But and, and is it an easy process to disarm a door? Is it just a button, or is it? Um, like yeah, it's uh, you've got a you've got a pin with a flag on it, and it, they they just go pin lever pin. So they take the pin out, they lift or put the lever down depending on what you're doing, and then put the pin back in, mm. and it's got a flag on it, so you know it's and it's got a a little indicator on the door that says armed or disarmed, and it's got a light and. You just, yeah, you, you make sure it's disarmed, but this time, you know, it didn't happen. Because no. uh, I think everyone hears that yeah. that call at the end yeah. of a flight or during a flight, is it before takeoff or before taxi, they say it as well. Yeah. Um, and um, no one, I think a lot of people, it just goes over your head normally, doesn't it? It's just like, yeah, they just said that, you know, but, but what does it actually mean? What are they actually doing there? Because they, they do it every single time. Yeah, without well, they're disarming the door so you can open them, because obviously if you'd open them with the doors armed, then the slide blows. And then what will happen is the cabin manager will check on the forward attendant panel to make sure that that says they're disarmed. And then they'll call the flight deck and we'll look on our screen and say, yeah, your, your doors are disarmed. Uh -huh. You're clear to open. Um, there's a slightly different procedure if you've only got three crew on a smaller aircraft because you've only got one person at the front. 
Um, but you know, you have all these, you have all these checks in to stop this from happening, and uh, yeah, occasionally it just doesn't work. Oh, uh, the Virgin Queen's in. Uh, they do and should cross check uh, unless it was the flight manager being charged with both doors, which is what we have on the small ones. So it's, it's different from different airlines as well. Yeah, yeah, different. each one's got their own procedure. And uh, Airbus build the aircraft, say, this is how we think you should do it. And some airlines go, actually, I think we can do it better than that. And they'll <laughs> change it and then they'll blow a slide and go back to Airbus away. Yeah. And just going over to our partner with Radar Box, um, as we see the Jet 2 uh, just lining up and uh, on the taxi out, which we'll see any second now, is the Singapore A350. If you do want to keep track of all the traffic here at Manchester Airport, guys, Head over to Radar Box and get yourself signed up there. It's uh, they do have free accounts as well, so uh, an awesome bit of kit and uh, massive thanks to Radar Box for integrating with Airliners Live. And uh, there's lots more to come on that as well. Hyped for that. And I've been asked to say hello to two very special little ladies, Emily and Lily, are watching. They're not well today. They're sitting at home watching this. So hello from us. And. They're my daughters. There you go. Hi, Hope babies. you're feeling well soon. Yeah. So do I. I was talking to uh, one of the DHL managers earlier um, this morning. His dad is an absolute big fan of this channel. He always watches. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, he's, uh, his name's George, and he'll be watching today with uh, his son Andy. And, and uh, Andy is going to be dressing up the next few days in a Santa outfit. So... We must have to make sure that we don't bump into each other. It should be that <laughs> Spider-Man meme where we're both pointing at each other like, <laughs> you're me. Uh, just as that Jet 2 was rotating off to uh, Lanzarote, our uh, Singapore A350 began its taxi out to 2-3 right uh, for departure. So we'll be seeing an awesome heavy departure in a minute or two. But before that, we've got some awesome support to catch up on, guys. Um, we'll put the main cam up there so you can see what's going on on the airfield as well. Um, where did we get up to? We had uh, Jorg. We had uh, Robin Duar, returning member. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry, brand new member. Thank you very much, Robin. Uh, I hope you're doing well, mate. Thanks for joining Airliners Live. We had British Raven returning, three months member, followed by Sam Hockaday, who's also returning to the channel um, for uh, nine months in a row. Thank you very much, dude, for that. Wishing all airliners live a happy Christmas. Uh, Sasha McCarthy sending in a £20 super chat supporting the channel today, saying uh, good morning, Martin, Andy, and Mark. Happy Christmas. Have a good one. Get yourself something to eat and drink, and it's nice to have Mark on the show really really is thank you very much Sasha for the huge support and for all your support this year as is, well is he on the show well he's, not, he's, no, here, he's, in, <laughs> he's here in spirit he's in the chat he's, yeah, he's in the chat yeah, he's in the chat yes <laughs> and uh, Hi, Samantha <laughs> with the five pound super chat saying I hope everyone has a wonderful Christmas time Andy put this towards the Mustang that I'm not getting for Christmas <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much Sam hope you're doing well uh, Benedict uh, supporting the channel with a 179 super chat saying happened previously on an A318 2016 at Manchester. There you go. It has happened before. See, they're so excited to get off and go and see the nightlife and they are. You know, go to that place where you've got food poisoning from. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Andrew Heatley with a 1799 super chat saying Merry Christmas to the airliners live team. Thank you, uh, you for the best in aviation. Thank you very much, Andrew. It's very, very kind of you, mate. And uh, we're trying our best. We're trying our best, dude. Sedster95, returning uh, for six months, business class member. And uh, we've got Heavy on the way in. So let's switch back over to that and we'll catch up with the rest of our support very shortly. There's lots coming in. If you want to get your name on the support train on the right-hand side, you can see there, guys. Hit the dollar symbol and click Super Chat or become one of our awesome VIPs and uh, you'll see your name on the stream. It looks like an A330, but I'm trying to work out what is. From, um, it's uh, and Air Transat, I would assume. Yeah, oh. Air Transat, yes. I've seen this for a while. In from Toronto. Yeah, we've uh, we've been seeing the, the more narrower bodies, haven't we, recently? Mm. Oh, Tina's asking, has Captain Mark any more flights before Xmas? Yes, he has. He's just been changed to Paphos in a couple of days, and he's working Christmas Day. Oh. I'm, you know, I'm working Christmas Eve. Got the night shift, absolutely raging. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, Mark's working Christmas Day. Obviously, when I said hello to the girls, they were Mark's daughters, not mine. We all know, <laughs> we all know Santa can't have kids, can he? No. <laughs> he only comes once a year. That's down a chimney. <laughs> anyway, 
Mark is a feces. <laughs> oh, I've had a message from Feza. Apparently, Melissa's super chat was missed. Okay, I will get on to it after this transit. It's a lovely aircraft, that, isn't it? Amazing. Yeah, I must have missed that quite a while back because it's not on my screen anymore, I'm afraid. Mel, drop me a minute. I feel really bad. It's always Mel. <laughs> it wasn't intentional. John's might have been intentional, but mine wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, John, for uh, getting uh, Santa's number and giving him, giving him a message. Nice one. And we had uh, some support on Twitch as well with 222 Demo with the 100 bits. Thank you very much, mate. Really appreciate that. Eccleston Angel with a five pound super chat saying they're finally home after I had a stroke in June and I've spent the rest of the year in hospital. Wow. Oh, no. Uh, good to be back. Have a happy Christmas. I'm really glad you're back home in time for Christmas. So that's 10 out of 10. Really, really good news. That, and I hope you're on the mend as well. Yeah, long term VIP Eccleston Angel. I remember you from, from last year and I think the year before as well. Yeah. Um, before we get to the next bit of support, probably a question for Captain Mark is uh, Brian King says, guys, a question. Glasgow had to cancel and divert flights the other day because they couldn't defrost the runway. Is this normal? Uh, depends on the airport. Um, you'd think Glasgow would be really good at dealing with icy stuff up there, but uh, I remember going in there a while ago and uh, they had no de-icing for the aircraft, let alone the runway. It's been incredibly cold the last couple of weeks. Uh, got back in my car, or Mark got back into his car the other morning, two nights running, and it was minus 10. Uh. Some airports can cope better than others. Um, Newcastle used to be really not very good at doing it, and then they had a, uh, a Thompson plane nearly go off the end of the runway. The report was quite harsh on them, so they went out and bought loads of kit, and now they're really quite good at it. When it's really, really cold, yeah, it can be quite difficult to shift. Um, this, this runway at Manchester, they chemically treat it. Um, we get a little printout of, of a thing called a snow tan. It's a, you get no tans, which are noticed to airmen, and then you get snow tans, which are snow noticed to airmen, and they tell you that the runway's been cleared. Uh, you, you need to know if there's uh, snow banks on the side of the runway. Yeah. Um, and we've got certain clearance limits because obviously the wings and the engines are very close to them. But yeah, I, I did. Yeah, it's it's not that common, um, and it probably it will happen again. No probably, doubt. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Singapore's lined up on the runway, so we'll turn up the mics and let you enjoy this heavy departure, guys. And we'll be straight back with you after that. I bet Andy wishes he was on that. Oh, yes. That is one way to depart Manchester, isn't it? The power in that. Mega. It's the noise as well with those Rolls-Royce engines. I oh, just yes. love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little buzz sort of noise where the tips of the blades are going transonic. It's just amazing. Lovely bit of kit. And we had an awesome bit of support coming in from Tom with the 1799 Super Chat saying Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to the Airliners Live family. And good luck to Santa. I hope you get all your presents delivered. <laughs> Thank you very much, mate. Really do appreciate all your support, Tom. It's been uh, fantastic. Great to have you with us, mate. Um, I won't had... be delivering any to a certain young man in Sunderland. No. He won't be getting any. <laughs> Doesn't deserve any, no, does he? No, 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 no. Tom, thank you very much for the... Uh, Mark, sorry. Thank you very much for the £10 Super Chat saying, Hi, guys. I can't watch today as I've got lots to do, but wanted to thank you for all the streams and also wish you and your families and all of the members a happy Christmas. Thank you very much, Mark, and uh, happy Christmas to you as well, mate. Thank you for supporting the channel today. 
with a, uh, a 10 pound super chat um, and then sliding in straight after with the 10 airliners live gifted memberships whoa adam taylor let's get some mega bongs gift emotes in the chat for adam taylor dropping 10 airliners live gifted memberships to the community he's got more uh, gifts in his sack than yours there matt i'm not sure that's possible <laughs> Here's that little piper we see sometimes here at uh, Manchester. Tiny little thing. Love it. A little, uh, <laughs> not really an executive jet, but uh, something along those lines. Oh, Chewy saying the title and uh, stuff. Does it still say F-16? What did it say? F-16 dogfighting or something. Is that still what it says? Thanks, mate. Cheers, Matt. Let me fix that. Very square windows on that. Little curtains in there as well. We see that coming in quite a lot, don't we? Yeah. Oh, it does. It says F-16 PVP. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Uh, Sadly, no F-16s here at Manchester today. Well, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll change the name and we'll have to change it back. Imagine if we check and then an F-16 comes in. Yeah. Uh, that would be Sod's Law. A very good Sod's Law. Mike's asking Santa, do you know if Captain Mark is a uh, instructor? Uh, his great demo instruction. Uh, Mark used to be a flying instructor years ago. He did it for three and a half years down at Denham near London. And then uh, he hasn't done it ever since. Um, I've had a message from a naughty elf in Sunderland. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Melissa's um, uh, super chat said, she said, see you soon, guys. Can I sit on Santa's knee? Merry Xmas to the AL family. No. <laughs> no I don't think Mrs Claus would be very happy with that <laughs> right, I said to Mrs Christmas this morning I was doing this and she said well make sure you mention me Mrs Christmas gets very upset because no one ever mentions her now does anyone in the chat know what Santa's wife's first name is Mrs Christmas do you know what her first name is anyone no idea no you say it every year Mary 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 Christmas <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, old man. Got a super chat. And uh, let me close that. There we go. And we also had Sasha McCarthy sending in a £5 super chat saying, loving the show as always. Um, watching at my friends, but feeling poorly still. Merry Christmas, everyone here. Hope you're feeling better soon, Sasha. Thank you very much for the support on the channel. Um, and we had returning members Diane returning for five months saying happy Christmas to all the airliners live and their loved ones and Jason um, returning for 11 months loving the show keep up the excellent work lots of people throwing support in today in the channel guys but I do want to get to some of your chat messages as well thank you so much for all the support everyone and uh, Chewy just saying yeah I would be surprised if I saw an F-16 PVP fight <laughs> over region CC <laughs> but listen you did see that last night on the DCS stream so make sure you tune in guys DCS streams not saying I shot anything down. I got shot down more than I shot down, but there you go. It was great. All five of us in the oh, chat. Oh, it wasn't last night, was it? It was day before. Yes, whenever. All five of us in the chat loved it. Yeah. <laughs> Did anyone see that really smart-looking guy on the uh, the mound just then as well? Yeah, we'll try and keep an eye on him because uh, I'm not sure where he's got it from, but he seems to have uh, got an Airliners Live jacket. Ah. I think, he's, uh, oh. I think he might have rubbed it. Look, see what's taxing out? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> Cameraman's currently Cameraman's focused on the... Focused on the squeezy jet. Oh, this thing. Oh, so you won't be able to see it now. No, we'll get it on when it takes off. Yeah, that thing there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's my favourite airline. Because I, I say to my young co-pilots, there's a magic trick. There's a hundred people disappeared into thin air. <laughs> <laughs> then they give me this look. Is it uh, is that one? Whiskey Lima on the reg here, looks like. We haven't actually named this one. What is it? Whiskey Lima. Whiskey Lima. <laughs> Any ideas, chat? Come on, chat. You guys have got to come up with a name for this one.
Roman Adventures, thank you for returning back for nine months of Airliners Live membership, saying happy <laughs> Christmas to all at Airliners Live. Enjoy the pork pies, and uh, me and the other half, and the sausage dogs. Hold on, let me read. Enjoy the pork pies, and me and the other half, and the sausage dogs, wish you all the best for the new year. Sausage dogs are cool, aren't they? I love them. Yeah, they are cool, and especially when they try and run fast, and the backside wiggles faster than the front side. <laughs> it's like snaking through the grass. Yeah. Love them. Love them. Get some pictures of them in the VIP lounge. Blair's got a good one for that one. Wanning late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of bad one that at all. Yeah, yeah. Fly. wing lit. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wide load. Um, when I'm on board. <laughs> Paul, thank you very much for the five fan super chat saying thanks to everyone at Airliners Live for some great streams. Thank you guys. No, we really do appreciate it. It's been an absolutely awesome, awesome year so far. Um, we've got a lot of things still to do before the end of the year. And as we said earlier on, we are going to be running our 4K test streams from the airport, which is uh, something we're really looking forward to trying. Um, it's going to be one of those things where we just uh, we see how we get on, I think, guys, with that and uh, roll it out slowly. I think we'll be the only live channel in the world, uh, aviation live channel that consistently does 4K, so that'll be our norm. Uh, we're super excited to do that. Bear in mind, 4K, that's like four times the resolution we're at now, four times. So it's going to look a lot better. Yeah. And, and you guys can actually watch our 4K pre-recorded footage on our, our YouTube to kind of get a sense of what it'll look like. It won't look quite it's that It's not going to look as sharp as that, because bearing in mind, bitrate is variable. Yeah, but it will look good. But it'll look great. Yeah, we're super hyped. So if you want to become a VIP and get yourself signed up, you'll be involved in those test streams. It does have to be on YouTube, though, guys. You have to be a YouTube VIP. Especially if you're lucky enough to have a 4K TV in your house. You got one. Listen, <laughs> we don't talk about that. Fez was saying Santa couldn't help, he didn't get invited. No, he didn't get invited to the big <laughs> after show party. I know. He's, uh, he's stretching this joke out now, isn't he? Oh. I think he's been pulling this for about a week and a half now. I know, he's, he's going to miss out all the westerns that you've ordered. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it started as a joke, which is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you've blown next year's budget for the show on just Henry Westerns for the after show party that Fez has not invited to. Um, yeah, that's it. Strongbows as well. Oh, excellent. Yeah, we, we, we've got a um, Formula One lined up for the TV as well. Brilliant. All the classics. Yeah. Uh, I'll hear all the, all the nice people in the chat coming down as well. Yeah. You know, yeah all the yeah, ones yeah. who get bullied on his show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Use constant bitrate then. Jeez, imagine how much bitrate that would take. Who said that? Use constant bitrate. Yeah, Fez. <laughs> oh, right. I was going to say. <laughs> With his little uh, smug emote. And Flo, you've just missed the 757, I'm afraid. Not long ago. Yes. Yeah, they are uh, few and far between at the moment, 757s. I'm not sure why. Um, maybe it's just the season, but we're not really seeing that many of them, are we? I think they park them up mostly for the year. Uh, is that the what winter. they do? Yeah. Got you, got yeah. you. They park a lot of their planes up. I mean, mate, mine who works there, he doesn't do a lot in the winter. He's quite busy during the summer, though. Yeah. <laughs> Mel saying Andy's got a small one. Listen, it's not about how Hold big on, it what? is. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> it's not about how big it is. It's about how quick you can boot up YouTube on it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and with that note, Julian Clough with a five pounds. We've just saying donating some of my Christmas money, but don't tell my mum Merry Christmas to everyone. Thank you very much, Julian. That's very, very kind of you. Hope you have a great Christmas. What's Jen, what's Jen saying? All the Henry Westerns. Yeah, so... Um, John um, got me uh, two big crates of Henry Westerns delivered to the house yesterday, so they're under the tree, ready to go. Mrs. Airliners Live has hinted that she's got me some Henry Westerns. And Mr. Matt Smith turned up this morning with some Henry Westerns. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, you ain't seeing me until New Year. <laughs> oh, look at that. Brian King saying, Journey to the Future. The uh, Pingu A380 is 12 minutes out. Hey. Oh, again? Okay. Get We've seen it. that a few times, actually. Yeah. You you seen it twice, didn't you, Martin? Uh, the other day on the stream. Do you want to tell us? Oh the yeah, channel? yeah. Because yeah, we went um, on that day where me and Andy decided to be crazy and go out filming in minus ten degrees Celsius. So Andy went filming uh, just pretty much opposite where we are now, 
And uh, I went down to the touchdown point because we were on zero fives. I wanted to get some pictures. If you're on YouTube, you can see the community tab. That's where we post our pictures. And they're on Instagram as well. Um, and uh, I went up and met Andy after the morning session. And we uh, grabbed the Journey to the Future, A380 landing at Manchester. It was epic. And then we saw an A380 going over the top. And I just grabbed a picture of it. So I thought, oh, well, I'll get a picture. I'll edit that when I get home. When I got home, zoomed in, and that had the journey to the future on it as well. Chances <laughs> of that. Mind blown. Best story of 2022. There, there it is. Go. Amazing. <laughs> That's uh, like one of Andy's stories, that, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, well worth it. But no, it was cool. It was nice to see. And um, some awesome uh, morning light as well. It was like pink. It started off, I got there about half seven in the morning. Um, it was pink skies. The sun was just coming up. Snow all over the floor. It was crazy. Uh, then my hot vimps all ready to go and um, as the sun came up behind us because we're on zero fives all the planes landing were just golden golden yep. light yeah, yeah, yeah. and we even caught the Berlin special easy jet oh, as well yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which was really yeah. nice that's got a uh, has that got a bear on the back I need to have a look at the picture and then, then later on <laughs> also the the Smurf special as well with a Yes, oh, the Brussels one, the, the Brussels, Brussels Smurf yeah. special as well, which was yeah. really, really nice. So, uh, yeah, it was great to uh, great to catch that. Um, and uh, we were only out, we were out for about four hours, five hours total, and we were like, we had good, thick, protective clothes on, thermals, big, thick socks, obviously good coats and all that. Um, and uh, yeah, about five hours, we were completely done. My toes were just oh, mate. You were even saying to me, how, how do you know? when it's too much you know because like, we couldn't feel our toes anymore could we no it, it was, was uh it was pretty cold so but we were we were we were um and ahhing because we were going oh should we stay a bit longer you know we've got the singapore going out we've got the cafe pacific going out as well oh yeah um which uh, <laughs> yeah you, you guys may know what happened to that so we were like uh, the singapore was running late basically there was nothing happening for a whole hour we were freezing we were, you know what let's get home let's edit the footage let's edit the photos that's that's enough, and the lighting had sort of gone past golden hour then. Um, but then later on, the the Cathay Pacific you guys may have seen that went out, got stuck, didn't it? Yeah. It, it had a, a mechanical failure where the parking brake seized. seized yeah, on the taxiway, um, not only trapping itself on the taxiway there, but trapping two planes behind it, which was the Smurf Brussels that we caught and a two E seven three seven Max eight, um, and then that just caused chaos. It would have been nice to catch that, but again, that didn't get resolved till after sunset. And fair play to uh, Simon Lowe, Aviation Live. You guys may know him, does that live streams here at Manchester. Great guy. Uh, that guy's a lunatic. He, he caught oh, that incident happen and then stayed for like six, seven hours just... What a guy. ...watching all the progress of these people trying to get it working, the, the, the aircraft behind trying to get out, and passengers disembarking, and all the drama... All the aircraft having to go around and backtrack and all sorts. Yeah, and, it was um, awesome, wasn't it? He did an awesome job, and it just goes to show um, the dedication of the Manchester streamers. Just he was out all day, wasn't he, in the cold? Yeah, that it was, was uh, freezing cold. It was like crazy. That. But talking of cold, I got cookies with a two dollar super chat. Thank you very much. Saying it is currently uh, minus twenty three degrees here this weekend. <laughs> what? No, thank you. You that, enjoy that. That's, that's a white Christmas if I've ever seen one. That's uh, that's <laughs> not one for us, I think. That's like a Siberian uh, town, Yakut, all of a sudden, you know. It is. Uh, minus 50 or whatever it is there these days. Joshua's, he's minus 29 where he is. Oh, the coldest really? I ever had was minus 27 in Kazakhstan years ago, but uh, yeah, minus 29. It just gets to the point where it's just like ridiculous. Like, yeah. I can't even comprehend that. You know, it's uh, you know when it's sort of been up below twenty up in Newcastle because the girls put a coat on, a, a small one but a coat. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair play. I do see some ladies out and about, you know, in the town and things wearing essentially summer <laughs> clothes this time of yeah. year. They've got their beer jumper on, haven't they? <laughs> And Terry Campbell, thanks very much for your donation. I will read that out very, very shortly. Thank you. Another absolute OG in the chat. Red tail badge. Oh, 
one way to try the runway, I suppose. It is. And uh, Terry Campbell sending in a £10 super chat saying thanks for a great 2022, guys. Much appreciated. Merry Christmas and a happy new year as well. Thank you very much, Terry. Really do appreciate it, mate. Thank you very much. Oh, I think I can see Fat Albert out on final. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's above the clouds. Lovely, lovely. We'll get that in. We'll uh, just focus that down there and we'll be seeing the A380 arriving very, very shortly. And yeah, speaking of 2022, I did mention it earlier on. But at the end of today's show, about 2 o'clock, we'll be playing our highlights video of 2022. All our favourite memories are on there in a nice little 10 minute edit. So stick around to there. Potentially. Yeah, and we'll be playing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say potentially Andy for a reason. <laughs> okay. Um, but anyway, we'll try and play that for you guys. And if not, um, and also we'll be posting it. We'll be uploading it. it we'll be uploading it, yeah. So if we do play it on this show, we'll be. Uh, It'll, yeah. be, it'll be an early chance to see that. Stand by, guys. Okay, BRB guys, while I just make a few configuration changes, uh, we are going to have to make a slight configuration change in the next few minutes. Um, but just bear with us, I will be right back. Mark and Andy have still got their mics on and the A380 is on uh, its way in. It'll be with us in a couple of minutes as well. Stand by. Nice. There's Here a, we go. There's a picture up on the uh, VIP chat on Facebook uh, of this 380 where someone's actually superimposed Pingu onto the uh, the <laughs> front of it. I showed one of the FOs the other day when we were taxing past it. Oh, I thought yeah. it was quite entertaining. Oh, yeah. Do you know who made that meme? Wasn't it your good lady? No, it was me. Oh, was it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was fantastic. I should have should have watermarked it. Andy Brownbill memes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you've got any space left on your phone, the amount you do. <laughs> well, I hope they don't blow the slide today, eh? That, yeah. They might have had a few words. Yeah. Watch out. <laughs> Watch them slides. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Be careful yeah. when you open the door. Here yeah. we go. The largest passenger plane in the world. Arriving here at Manchester Airport. 2-3 right today. And um, featuring the, what is it called? Journey to the Future. Journey to the Future. Uh, or as we like to call them, the King U uh, penguin livery, <laughs> which I don't think anyone can unsee now that we've uh, told them about that. I get f literally frequent comments saying that we ruined that livery for a lot of people. <laughs> All too often. But here we go. Special livery, of course. I was talking to a lad who used to work for Airbus the other day, and apparently, uh, although they've stopped making the 380, they've still got all the jigs and all the tooling and all the kit, and they are thinking that in the future it may make a comeback. Ooh. Um, yeah, because they, they're actually a bit reluctant to um, change the factory that's at Broughton. Yeah. Uh, they did have some speculation they were going to turn it into a, a passenger terminal. So oh, just, okay. You know, but obviously that's kind of a pill struggle so um, they do have like uh, international capabilities there because obviously the Belugas for example they fly uh, internationally and they do have uh, like passport control and whatnot there but um, now the, uh, the the A380 wing factory are brought in North Wales that's still still there like I said it's probably I don't know the, the ins and outs it probably still has the jigs and things there yeah. we but, just uh, had a Beluga go over about 10-15 minutes ago around the back so yeah, the, the the thing is with that, that's the 800. It was designed to have the 800, 900 thousand, and those wings and tail are designed for the thousand. 
So wow. it's designed for a plane that's much, much bigger. Wow. <laughs> so they were talking of maybe doing a smaller tail, a new wing for the 800, and, you know, if they do start it up again, a new tail and new wing for the smaller ones, and uh, they'll have to be re-engined. summer all the slots and delays you get from air traffic control you can't get many more planes in the sky right. the only way you can get more people in the sky is to have bigger aircraft and, and, and the same with like busy airports as well and yeah it was like Heathrow and things back when they were at like 99 percent capacity yeah it's the only way you can do it is bigger aircraft so yeah. um you know even our airlines starting to buy slightly bigger aircraft um, we'd like them to get 330s and 350s, but I don't think that'll ever happen. Imagine an easy jet A350. Yeah, yeah that'd be cool. That'd be crazy, that'd wouldn't be it? Cool. Yeah. They were, I think they were off of the Air Berlin ones years ago, the old Air Berlin ones, and they turned them down. I think Virgin took two. Oh, uh, right. We were. The problem is the 330 is vastly different engineering-wise. Um, although, for a pilot, the, the cross-qualification is quite straightforward. The actual engineering side of it is vastly different. I'm surprised Jet 2 don't invest in their own, like, uh, wide bodies, because with their expansion, of course, you know, going down the route of all the 321s and the 320 Neos, like, and, and in the summer, and it, I think they've, I don't know if they've still got them, I don't think they have actually on lease, you know, the Air Tanker 330s and the Wamos 330s. Yeah. I know Tui have one of them at the moment. Um, and I wonder if, like, Jet 2 should have gone down a bit more of a wide body route, maybe like 330 Neos or something would have been cool for them. I think cost is a big one. Um, at my last airline, obviously, we had the 7.5s and we had the 7.3s. Um, I was flying the 7.5s, and some of the routes we did to Africa, really, the people wanted a 7.6. And the cost ch difference between a 7.5 and a 7.6 was so vast. I mean, it, it was a, a long-standing joke. Good way of bankrupt an airline is to buy a 7.6.7. <laughs> and uh, we saw Globespan go that way, Zoom Airways. You know, they all had bought these 7.6s, and uh, they didn't last very long. So why do you mm. think TUI keep hold of theirs, then? Are they just, like, a, a relic of the past? They're all paid for. They're, they're all paid, paid for, for yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, you start, you know, buying in and, you know, mate, uh, gearing up for maintenance. The TUI ones are... Uh, you know they're they're bought and paid for. They've 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 paid their time over and over again. Yeah. I was talking to a lad who used to fly for DHL. One of the DHL freighters at East Mids used to fly for Vietnam Airways and First Choice, and that was the one that had the landing incident years ago at Bristol, where it uh, it got bent actually just behind the front doors. There was a big bend in the fuselage. It spanked in quite hard on a short runway, and uh, they managed to repair it again. It had the same in Vietnam, and now it's flying cargo. It's still going. You still know. going. Yeah, it's still going. But, uh, yeah, it's, it, once you start going down the wide-body route, the costs go up dramatically. And there it is, the A380, just about to taxi past our position here at Manchester Airport. And once this taxi's passed, we're going to make a very, very quick change, which may be a black screen just for a couple of seconds. I think someone saw me that they know. Looks like it. Yeah. Hi, Kingu. Someone was saying a 380 Neo would be cool. I think they, uh, they did look at it. Um, I think Emirates turned around to Airbus and said, "Stick a load of new engines on, and we'll buy 200." But uh, it just wasn't enough for the uh, for the costs. Right. Okay. Uh, they came up with a new winglet for it and a few other improvements to try and make it a bit more fuel efficient, but uh, it never went anywhere. But you never know. Give it a few years, and once the skies fill up again. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's not a huge amount of space under that inboard engine there, is there? Really? No. no. I'm sure they can. They can. Manufacture something, right? Yeah, yeah they can't. They, they Stick two nails on the outer ones. Yeah, just half a job, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Surely these 380s, though, they do so many miles in the sky, you know, every day that even just a slight improvement of efficiency, like I said, winglets, you know, yeah. 
It was common to like retrofit new winglets to, to aircraft, so yeah, you know, things like that might might improve. Imagine these with like sharklets on or something. That'd look pretty. I think that's what it was like. Airbus came up with one. It was a Paris Air Show a few years ago and had this funky winglet. I think they managed to smack it into a building or something. I seem to remember them clipping a building with it. But yeah, it had these big winglet things on the on the end. Uh, it's it's it is it is quite impressive when you compare. The new technology, the Neos, and the you know with the sharklets and the the, the CFM, the Leap engines, compared to the older aircraft and the fuel burn differences, and especially if you compare a 321 Neo to uh, a 757, yeah, and the fuel burn is just immensely different. You know, on a yep. two-hour flight, the, the 75 will do it quicker. Yeah, uh, like I, I mentioned on a stream before, I, I found an old 75 flight plan from Gatwick to Mercia. And then I downloaded the 321neo one. And the 75 would do it in one hour 55 minutes. The 321neo would take two hours 15. It takes a bit longer. The 75 would burn seven tons of fuel. And the uh, seven, uh, the 321neo uh, would burn 5.1. So it's nearly two, two tons difference. And with today's fuel prices, that is going to be a massive, oh, yeah. massive change. Oh, yes. Definitely warrants... Uh, a whole new plane, really, like yeah. at that point. Yeah. Just, uh, just that. went and grabbed that that family down there. Then who um, they had uh, the family, their daughter coming back from Australia was on that A380. Oh no way! And they were at the fence line here. We didn't show it on stream, but they had like blow up kangaroos and they were waving like mad. So I just ran down and just let them know. Obviously, they can watch it if they want, but um, they were made up about that. Cool. Wasn't People um, arriving for Christmas, but um, yes, as this pulls on to stand, ladies and gents, we're going to take a very, very short, maybe one minute, maximum two minute intermission while we have to make a quick configuration change. So stand by, guys. Can I give you one more look at us all in costume? Because that's going to go, I'm afraid. Uh, not going to work if I... Transmission. Yes. Hiya. Right, we're still here. Bosh, there you go. Okay, <laughs> grab your screenshots. Andy might jump down. We'll get all three of us on. Before, <laughs> grab a screenshot before we uh, have to get rid of this. Can you squeeze in, Andy? Yeah. Because uh, we need to. Yeah, we need to do our thing. Here we go. Right, Bosh. <laughs> hey, there you go. Legend. Legend. <laughs> so the. Uh, <laughs> right, you've all got your screenshots. Don't say we didn't give you anything. There there's, you go. There's your thumbnail there. Yeah. So we need. Standby, guys. We'll be about two minutes. Two minutes standby. You've already plugged that in. Okay, are we back? Audio mod check, please. Mod check, mod check. It looks like we're good. I can see it on my on my end. Chicken nugget check. Loud and clear, five five. Cheers, mods. Thank you. Yep, was it? All good. There we go, yes. Um, the memory leak, which we thought we fixed last week, has not been fixed, so yay. I'll be taking this PC home over Christmas and rebuilding it. I think, I think it's nice. going to need a new new Windows version yeah. by I, the looks of that. I think when we wrap up, though, we should try and put it back on. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm, gonna re I'm restarting it now, yeah. and I'm just going to use this time to see if it does it yeah, yeah, with yeah. nothing open. Okay. Like, no OBS, no yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. If it does, then it's a Windows install. If it doesn't, then there's something very wrong with OBS at that We're point. Are you using a different browser as well? Uh, yeah. Okay. I've got a question here. Uh, what sort of retraining would a pilot have to do 
to fly the 380 from a normal Airbus, a smaller Airbus. Um, not an awful lot. The flight decks are very similar. It's one of the big things about the Airbus is that you can fly uh, all of them. They're, they're, they're all, they're all the switches are, are the same. Um, obviously, there's more. There's twice as many engine switches, more hydraulic systems, more air conditioning packs. Interesting thing for you, pack, air conditioning pack. Actually stands for pressurization air conditioning kit. Oh, right. Actually stands for something. Not a lot of people knew that. Um, but, yeah, you can... Um, you go in a simulator, you do some sim training, you do a ground school, but whereas if you were coming off, say, a 737 and you wanted to fly a 330, it would be a complete type rating course. It would take about three months. Or it's from a smaller Airbus to a bigger one. It's, it, it's, it's a lot simpler and a lot shorter and a lot cheaper. There you go. Um, do, 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 do. Have you got that new splitter, Andy, actually? Um, yeah, it's in the top. Okay. Top. I just realised that, that we we went a bit too quick. <laughs> I didn't uh, I didn't split the video. I mean, I can guess what you're looking at, I suppose. Yeah, it's it's nice in it. See, shortbread airlines. Lovely job, boy. Yeah. Sh shortbread airlines ATR seventy two departing there. Yep, off to the Isle of Man again. Nice little hop that. You've flown to the Isle of Man before, haven't you? I have. I hate it. <laughs> Not it's a fun. No, it's a nice, lovely airport. People are friendly, but it's a short runway, and I don't like short runways. It's very. It's. I think it's the shortest runway I go to. What would you um, say the shortest runway you've landed on is? Have you got like a an award for that? I don't know actually. Is there any like that um, really caught your mind? Oh, I mean, light aircraft I used to land in short runways. I didn't never liked it then either. I think uh, Andrewsfield was probably the shortest. Um, in the commercial world, I think it's the Isle of Man, 1,600 metres, I think it is, off the top of my head. And the problem you've got as well is on runway 08, it's got an ILS that you use to guide you to the runway, but it's not actually lined up with the runway, it's offset. Oh, right. So it, it's... <laughs> the last time I went in on there, it was a horrible day. It was 20-odd knots across the runway. It was raining, low cloud. It sort of come out, and the runway's not where you... Th you know, it's not in front of you, it's off to the side, and it's it's got a, a big displacement, so you can't actually land on the first bit of the runway. You've got to land deeper because it's... Uh, the terrain and everything is just not nice. It's not nice. And speaking of TUI wide bodies, as we were discussing before, they are quite fond of the Dreamliners, though, TUI. In fact, on the... Sh I think it was the last show we did, uh, so this time last week, we've seen loads of these. <coughs> we've seen loads of repositioning flights, um... It was mostly like London Gatwick, I think Edinburgh as well. <coughs> um, okay. And this aircraft's off to Puerto Vallarta. I've got a question here from Sanjep. Um, can you deter, deter turbulence and how do you deal with it? Uh, there's a really good video up on the uh, YouTube site, uh, Pilot Explains. We talk about turbulence there. Uh, but uh, you can't, you, you, you can avoid it if you know it's there. So we have a look at our weather charts before we go. Uh, we may be able to route around it. We'll listen to air traffic control, and if planes in front of us are, are saying, oh, it's quite bumpy, you know, what, what's it like at different levels, we can find out and go to those levels where we know it's smooth. We can fly a little at a, at a set speed. Um, all airliners have a special speed, which it will is the, is the smoothest for going through turbulence. We can set that speed. Sometimes you've just got to sit in it and put up with it, unfortunately. Yeah, and sometimes it can still catch you off guard, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Two is off to Puerto Vallarta in the Virgin Atlantic, flight 109 out. GVNYC is off to Atlanta, Georgia. And also got a uh, Ryanair just pushed back over there, 737-800. Yeah, we're going to try and get the video played at the end of the show. I really want it. It's the end of, like, <laughs> the, uh, the year for us, and uh, I worked extra hard yesterday just to try and get the video done in time. Um, so it'd be nice to get that a nice play for you guys at the end. If not, we can always put it on the main channel uh, as like a little uh, premiere as well, so we can watch it together. Either way works. Yeah. So. Um, massive shout out because I'm doing it really quick. Um, uh, Colin and Julie, you've just brought in some Swixes for all of us because <laughs> it was their daughter Clarissa who uh, arrived on the uh, A38. I think I got all those names correct. <laughs> I'm so bad with names. There you go. Thank you very much, guys, for that. And uh, ladies and gents, I'm really sorry, but there's going to be one more black screen uh, for 10 seconds. Just bear with me. Hold your horses. I'm going to work this out in my head very quickly, and I'll be right back. Stand by, guys. Oh. Okay, we should be back again. Just sorry about that, guys. Um, we had to split. I forgot to split the feed so that we could actually see in the studio what the camera's looking at. 
we should be back. We should be back, and that should be uh, us happy and happy as chappies. I've also got a little game we can play as well that I, I purchased for today's show. <coughs> you love your games, don't you? <laughs> yeah. You're like my worst nightmare at Christmas. You <laughs> quizzes, games, hey, you, dressing up. Listen, when you went to your was it your mum's slippers, socks, and a westerns will do me. When you went to was it your mum's where you played that game where you put the thing on your head? That was fun though. You were that. you were going on about that was that great. was fun. I'll they're like, the I'll kind of games that. I like where they're yeah, just yeah, silly. Yeah, 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 that is a good one. Ooh, Here we go, three thirty on the roll. Mod check five five as well, please. Beautiful sound from the Virgin Atlantic A3 3300 heading off to Atlanta. Oh, this Ryanair has been towed from the sort of uh, apron area, which is somewhere they don't usually go, Ryanair's, because they only ever really use uh, Terminal 3, of course. And the Tui Dreamline are now lined up as well, heading off to Puerto Vallarta. There's also a Ryanair 737-800 heading off to Fuerteventura. That's not the one that's getting towed, of course. It, the Puerto Ventura bound one is flight 3805. And today is the last show of the year, of course, on Airliners Live. It's been a, an epic year, of course. We've really enjoyed our first ever year completely full time on the channel, me and Martin, of course. Yeah. And um, it's been great. And uh, we've got loads of plans for 2022, uh, 23, sorry, including, uh, of course, you all know the 4K upgrade that we have uh, coming straight away in the new year. And this PC is not going to be involved in it in the slightest. <laughs> Leave him out. Yeah, that was a weird audio issue, wasn't it? There you go. At least we fixed it. Well, Nabila D's in. Hi, Nabila. Hope you're all right. Uh, Paul Davis is in with £8.99. Thank you very, very much. And uh, hello to you, sir. Hope you're well. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. Really do appreciate it, Paul. Hope you're doing well, dude. Yep, Merry well. Christmas to all. Hello to Mark, and thanks for an amazing year. <coughs> Say, Mr. Bing Bong himself. Thank you. Yes, we got a Christmas in just a few days. Very excited for that, of course. And then me and Martin are taking a couple of days off. Um, so the next live show that you'll see won't be uh, until uh, it'll be Sunday. Um, 
No, that would be New Year's uh, Day, of course. So. Yeah, so the, 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 we're <laughs> coming back on the Wednesday the 4th. Yep. So um, we are going offline after today's show and coming back on the 4th, guys. Thank you very much, Bill. Glad you're enjoying it, mate. Really do appreciate you, dude. It's BA making quite oh, a lot sorry, of corrections. Oh, yeah. sorry, John, John will be live on Monday the 2nd, though, guys, for the Flight Sim show. And chances are there'll probably be some DCS streams here and there as well. Um, a lot of you guys voted on John's show that you'd like to see some digital combat simulator stuff, which me and John do off-stream as part of a bit of a hobby. Um, we're going to try streaming a couple of those as well and see how they go, but that'll be over Christmas at some point. Who normally wins? Oh, we don't fight each other. Uh, we, uh, we're we on the same team because oh, right. it gets just a little bit too competitive if we, uh, <laughs> we start fighting couldn't, each other. Couldn't possibly imagine Fezza being competitive. <laughs> <laughs> Bex, Angie, thank you very much for the two, uh, one. I nearly said thanks very much for the 29, 2019 gifted membership. Bex, Angie, 2019 gifting an airliner's life membership. So oh, thank, thank you. Very you. Much. Sorry, guys. Slightly, slightly thrown out of whack by the quick fixings we were just doing. Really appreciate the support. Thanks, Bex. Those um, 2500 engines, they always remind me of the RB211. They look very similar, or they're longer, but uh, less yeah. powerful. But the, the actual way they, the, the outlook and the light, the way they look, reminds me of those. I just love that engine. It does look nice. I love the BA blue as well on the engines. Yeah. Um, I've said it a few times on the channel that my favourite BA aircraft is the A321 Neo. I just think it looks really good in that livery. Like yeah, it's, it's, it really does suit the livery, doesn't it? Yeah. I got a nice picture of a Sun Express the other day. Now, Talio's going to send it to you for your good lady because I know how much she loves the colours. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great livery, isn't it? Yeah. Ryanair 737-800 departing now. That's the one that's off to Fuerteventura. Nice uh, sunny destination down there. Uh, sort of mid-twenties this time of year in that part of the world. And having a look down the approach path. Next to come in is the uh, Pegasus um, A320 Neo in from Istanbul. Four hour flight for that one today. Do see lots of Pegasus at Manchester these days. Low cost carrier based at Turkey. And they fly routes like Istanbul and uh, Antalya. I think Dalaman as well. Multiple times daily here at Manchester. Was it you guys who started calling it fly pigs? It the fly yeah. pigs, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That the other day, the FO was in hysterics. He thought it was quite, weird, quite funny. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird one. That's kind of catched on as well. There's quite a few things. <laughs> There's always people in the chat with the pig emotes. Yeah. Then and uh, Razor, sorry, Steve T, returning for 10 months of uh, membership, saying Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you for the last 10 months. Thank you very much, Steve. Cheers for supporting the channel, mate. Really do appreciate you. Have a great Christmas as well. And uh, Razorback also uh, supporting the channel for four months, saying thanks for great informative shows this year. You're welcome, no worries at all. So if you could fly other than the 75, of course, any um, long-haul aircraft, what would you pick? A350. Yeah. 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 Not even a... I mean... Obviously, it'd be nice to be on a 7-4 if they were still going mm -hmm. from Manchester. But, I mean, obviously, if I could pick any of them, it would be Concorde or a 7-4. But <laughs> if, if I could pick what I have a choice of, it would be A350. And I don't know if you've seen it, Andy. Mm. Um, um, or Santa as well may have seen it. <laughs> but last night, I watched uh, Noel Phillips's um, Fiji Airlines flight he did. Um, no, I, I got recommended that, but I haven't watched it yet. Mate, that is a nice livery on the A350. Oh, it is, yeah. Looks 10 out of 10 on the A350, and the the service and everything just looks like it'd be really, really good on there. They actually get them at Vancouver as well, Fiji they A350s. Do. Yeah, they've just started that. And um, the thing is with it is, um, well, I'm not going to spoil the video for you. Go and watch it. 
the the thing is, he's got a title on there, which makes it think it's going to be a really, really bad experience. Yeah, it wasn't like the but an- annoying, the most annoying fifteen hours ever or whatever. But the um, the actual flight and the service and everything was just ten out of ten. There was just one little thing that ruined it for him, and I'll let you go and enjoy that. But I really enjoyed that. I watched it last night. Oh, that's uh, that's baiting that, isn't it? That's I want I want to know what that is now. Yeah, <laughs> and it would be something that would really ruin it. No matter how good the experience is, it would ruin it. Yeah, I'm gonna watch that one again. So you gotta now. watch it. Yeah. You gotta watch it. Kerry Keeley. Returning for five months of Airliners Live membership. Thank you very much, Kerry. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Barry's still looking after his uh, poor wife. She's still recovering from her broken femur. And uh, their doggy, who had a bit of an operation yesterday and was neutered. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. Won't be roasting his chestnuts by the fire this year. Won't be, really. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie was asking, uh, where's my favourite place to fly? Back to Manchester, so I can go home. <laughs> um, I like Tel Aviv. That's a long way, but it's nice. Uh, I, I don't mind the, long, the longer flights. I don't like uh, four flights a day. It's too much hard work. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. What do, you, what do you think about it, then? Would you prefer one long flight or more sectors? That's the thing. Like, I don't. I like to be home, so two flights a day. I don't care if they're long ones. Yeah. Even Hagada, Charmel, Shakes, Televis. I don't mind those at all. I've got Paphos in a couple of days. That's not a bad day out. Yeah. Um, I don't mind those, but yeah, four the four flight days. If you get something easy, like four short flights, it ain't too bad. But uh, sometimes, I mean, I did a. I think it was a Hamburg bowl the other day. And, uh, yeah, it's just a long day. Um, last week, with all the bad weather, I did uh, Paris Amsterdam, and we nearly ran out of flight hours. It was that badly delayed with all the wow. weather and the de icing and everything. You know, it should be in total probably just over four hours of flying, all four flights, and we ended up nearly running out of hours. So, do they not like count hours on the ground at a lower multiple? No. Because no. you'd think, like, they could maybe say, look, Hours on the ground caused by delays will factor at, say, 0.5 or something towards your hours. You know what I mean? They haven't got the capacity to do it. No, they I mean, got the, to do it. It's, it's the regulators who set the, set the flight time limitations. Because um, for all you know, if you had a four-hour delay, you could have been tipping or something. Yeah, you? And, yeah. And, you know, well, normally, if you've got a delay, you've normally got the punters on. And yeah. Again, you know, this city tight app that I showed you last week, as soon as you tell air traffic you're ready, they say they're ready. And you've got to be ready to go because if that slot suddenly disappears and air traffic go, you can go. Yeah. Um, you've got to go. And if you so, then turn around and say, oh, actually, uh, uh, I've got the passengers on, they're not going to be very happy with you. And you if, go to the back of the queue. What were, and I know, I'm, I'm always, I always worry about asking you for your opinion on this, but if you don't want to answer it, it's fine. Yeah. But you saw obviously what happened the other week with the cafe with a stuck parking brake and two yeah. planes stuck behind it. Yeah. They didn't disembark that Brussels for a long time. A yeah, long, we, we long were time. listening to him on the radio. Yeah. I mean, he'd been stuck there for a few hours. Um, so they cannot get... Because the way we understood it is the yeah. reason they could not get pushed back and out the way was because they couldn't get a truck down by the side of them, apparently. Right, yeah, that makes sense. Because so the taxiway's you, not that wide. You can't put a pushback truck on the grass... It weighs tons. It's you know it's it's It'll just it's, sink in. And yeah, also, you don't sink. want any sort of slipping on the wheels when yeah. you're trying to push a push plane. aircraft. Yeah. So they were well and truly stuck. I saw when we we taxied out the two. We had the steps on. The punters were off. Um, we were listening to some chat on the radio, and the the the, the, the Cathay the guys on the Cathay said the engineers had said to air traffic it'll be half an hour to release this brake. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Um, and the Brussels guy said, well, we've been told it's an hour to wait for the buses, so we might as well just sit here. Yeah. So he's sitting there with the APU running engines off, and there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, yeah. I don't, I'm not even sure whether you, how you'd get the buses. Plus, you've got to think the planes are landing, taking off. The buses are, are, are full all the time, going, taking air, people from the aircraft to the aircraft. So then to suddenly take two buses, three buses out of service to offload all the people off the buses then throws the whole schedule out. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, there was, I, I, it looked like they were stuck between a rock and a hard place. There, I mean, unfortunately. I know there's regulations and stuff like that, but is there a point at which where 
some regulations are just like, look, let's just put that one to one side because could you not have just disembarked them, made them walk along this fence line here, which you have vehicles, ops vehicles closer than that, you yeah. know, when, when planes are coming in, made them walk along this fence line and just sat them in Premier until it was... You, you, know would have, I mean? you would have thought they would. Yeah, I, I suppose there's probably health and safety businesses you know, yeah. involved. You I can't know, have people you, walking you get on that, there. That's field. what drives me mad sometimes yeah. about health and safety because there's a point where health and safety is like, yeah, it, it's mandatory. But on something like that, it's just like... Common, common sense. Just it? get yeah. them off the plane, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they, they're very, very sharp on people walking around airfields. You know, you will follow prescribed tracks. You will go here, you will go there. To have them walk in there, I can see straight away the airport. We just said absolutely not. Um, Even they, if they just because there's plenty of ops guys, they could be like guiding them and all. Well, stuff. you would you would hope so, wouldn't you? Yeah. Um, I mean, they had one at Gatwick years ago. There was a guy on board of an aircraft, and uh, they were trying to get him off. It was a it was a Gatwick, and he managed somehow managed to get out on the ramp, stripped naked, and went running across the airfield. Right. And they had a load of people chasing after him. It was just an absolute. Yeah, I suppose if you have someone who's one who's intent on being an idiot, I guess. Yeah. Well, there's an A330 yeah. rolling. We'll get this out and carry this on. But yeah, they did uh, did leave him there for. Yeah. Four hours. Four hours sat on yeah. the thing. Oof. Yeah. Gosh. Here we go. V30 on the roll, and then we'll catch up with the awesome support that's coming into the channel as well. Thank you, guys. Blasting off to Bridgetown on the final midweek show for Airliners Live for 2023. Uh, 20, uh, 2022, rather. Uh, Kevin, thank you very much for the £10 super chat um, saying a message for Santa, Mark. <laughs> Dear Santa, I've been good all year. Well, most of the time. Well, once in a while. But sod it, I'll buy my own stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Thank you very much, Kevin. Yeah, I think I'm buying all mine as well. Um, we had Gordon sending in an awesome £20 super chat saying, uh, as Christmas is a time for kids, uh, what's your standout aircraft delivery from when you were a kid? Mine would have been Britannia. Have a great Christmas, guys. Well, there you go. What do you reckon, Mark? Uh, standout livery, eh? Um... Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Of all time. It's got to be 747 Boac for me. Yeah, oh, yeah, that was a good one. I used to like the the old United two-tone, the grey and the blue, and beat British Midland did one, which had a grey and a blue years ago. Oh, the really Chrome like American. The Chrome American. I remember standing at the end of Heathrow watching the MD-11 scream overhead while like, oh, I was waiting for Concorde to go. Yeah, I know the Chrome yeah. Americans, they... I do. As soon as I thought Chrome American, I thought Home Alone. I think there's one on Home Alone that you see flying quite a bit. Um, so yeah, that was a good one. What about you, Andy? Um, oh, it's hard not to say um, the Boac or the Landor. I really can't think of any others that really stand out though, other than that, like from my childhood anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say I'd probably say Landor personally. I love that one. And uh, thanks for that question, mate. Got us all thinking. Really appreciate it. Alex Smith, thank you very much for the. 10 months of business class saying uh, hola from Rio flying back today via Lisbon with tap on their A330 Neo that's awesome yo Got nice. a friendly uh, Merry Christmas uh, from Alex thank you very much for the 10 months of business class really appreciate it and uh, Russ thank you very much for the 6 months of premium economy membership saying Merry Christmas all keep up the great work thank you very much and uh, a few of you guys in the chat saying Boac or British Cal uh, Caledonian um, for you um, in the late 70s from Gary um, Boak on a VC10 says Ian a lot of, a lot of votes for Boak Dan Air uh, Boeing 727 not a bad shout either I used to work on my travel and I really missed that livery says Matthew did anyone say Britannia by the way I don't think anyone did um, that was a good one as well I should have said Sun Express just to upset people. <laughs> I don't think that new Brussels airline uh, colour is ever going to get uh, 
ever going to get any votes, is it? <laughs> and uh, this is in from Antalya, left four hours, 42 minutes ago. Our favourite livery here on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Forbes, welcome back for four months of support. Thanks for all the streams. It's a joy to watch them Merry Christmas. It's great to have you with us, mate. Thank you. Toddy on Twitch saying the old Berlin livery. Air Berlin livery, I love it. There's Toddy. I'm going to have to sit down one day and go through all my old uh, photos I took at Heathrow in the 90s. And go through all the colour schemes there and see what I think. What I think's the best. I remember standing at the end of the runway having Concord go over, and my chest was vibrating with the noise of it. That's one experience that I wish I'd had. In fact, you know, there's always something where you think, I wish I had that. Then yeah. it is Concord, yeah. man, just the sound yeah, yeah. of it. I used to go up there a lot because I didn't live that far from Heathrow and you could park around there quite easily back then and got loads of photos. It's got some at sort of dusk time as well where you can see the reheat uh, blowing out the back of the engines and uh, you know, great big flames coming out. It looks absolutely fantastic. Oh, mate. That's but, mega. Uh, so, something about this Sun Express plane looks different. I'm trying to work out what it is. You know, it looks it's a bit more... The left it's, engine. Is that what it was? Yeah, left yeah, engine wasn't it, I was up. staring at it like... It looks different to like the usual one. I don't know what, what it is. Like less blue... A yeah. very warm welcome to the chat, guys. Get involved on the last show for us here on 2022. We are here with uh, myself, Martin, Andy up on the camera, and uh, someone who sounds like Captain Mark. Yeah. But, but he looks like Santa. Santa. Yeah, it's Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, you know, we were talking about Concord. There was uh, a flight, an old Concord flight engineer used to be uh, one of our instructors at the flying school years ago, and he was telling us about it. He was telling us about the fuel burns. And uh, when it was taxing, each engine burnt about 1.1 tonnes an hour, just taxing each engine. <laughs> Whereas a, an Airbus Neo would use about 100 kilos on a taxi, um, you know, a 10-minute taxi. Whereas this thing's burning 1.1 tonnes an hour. So a typical taxi fuel would be about one and a half tonnes. That's so crazy. And then it? when you start ta on the takeoff roll, each, each engine would be burning around 21 tonnes an hour. And then when you get to V2, about 220 knots, each engine's burning 25 tonnes an hour. So you're burning in total 100 tonnes an hour at takeoff. And the fuel tanks used to leak. Yeah. <laughs> we'll yeah. add that into the mix as well. Yeah. Anyway. And the funny thing was, with the fuel tanks, you know how they measured it? How many drips an hour they had? Yeah. <laughs> they, yeah. They're measuring it with drips per hour. Yeah, that's a good way of doing it. Or was it drips per minute? Something maybe like that, yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. it was drips Probably per minute. minute, yeah. We've got, we've got a thing on, on... There's an Airbus thing that if you have a, a, a drip and fuel coming out of the engine, you can you can go if it's not too bad. This, you've got to sit there and time it over a period of time. But, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that, you know, that 320 there burns about two tonnes an hour. Um, by the time Concorde got to, uh, to cruise uh, around about flight level 500 upwards, uh, the fuel burn had come down quite a lot. It was only... Uh, each engine was only burning about 4.2 tons an hour by that point. Oh, it's, that's not, yeah, it's not that bad, is it? You know, <laughs> each engine. Bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> yeah, the Swedish Doom Goblin would not approve. No, definitely not. Yeah. Some bloke who travels a lot with the 899 Super Chat saying Happy Christmas to one and all. Your Prezi is packed and ready for January the 4th. Just got to Heathrow on the final leg to Manchester tomorrow. That's awesome, some bloke. Thank you very much. You don't have to get us a present, mate. Yeah, wow. You've, uh, you. I, we've still got your uh, awesome bottle of champagne uh, on display in the office. We actually, one thing we do need to get, uh, which we're keeping our eye open for, is a really nice display cabinet to get some models at the office, get that um, bottle of champers on the go as well. Yep. Well, thank you very much for supporting the channel, mate. And uh, we also had a £10 super chat come in from Chrissy B saying, Hi, guys, I usually miss the Wednesday show as I volunteer but I'm not well so I'm wrapped up in bed uh, watching wishing you all a fab Christmas well Chrissy I hope you get better soon uh, in time for Christmas we hope so you can enjoy a nice Christmas dinner roast potatoes all the good stuff and uh, thank you very much for tuning in to the show today I hope it's uh, helped you feel a little bit better as well 
Got and loads it, of uh, people out in the uh, viewing park there wearing Airliners Live gear. I, ke I keep seeing yeah. more and more. And they've all come down for the party, haven't they? The Fez That's is not what invited to. That's what it is. Is yeah. John there? Oh, no, we didn't no, invite no, him. No, 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 invite. <laughs> 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 Here we go, Flyby. We're going to turn the... Uh, we're going to turn the noise up for this one because we do love the sound of a good fly bee and this one is uh, in from Newquay and yes this is definitely a Windows bug Andy <laughs> okay That's well I said that I also sort of thought it was an OBS bug it's interesting how it didn't do it before yeah weird And um, I don't think I've said this on the channel before, but if I was to ever be a pilot, this is my aircraft of choice. Yeah? Yeah. Absolutely love the Dash A. Flown it a lot in the sim as well. A friend of mine used to be a trainer for Fly B on them years ago. Love it. Pez is saying, careful, look out, look out for a certain knacker, Mark, she'll be coming for you. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't. I don't know who he's on about there. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nat is on this feed, mate. <laughs> Carl Crawford, thank you very much for the £10 super chat saying Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all airliners live and the chatters as well. Thanks hey. for supporting the channel, Carl. Thank you, mate. Thank you, Carl. Appreciate it. Barry's calling your favourite plane a purple weed whacker. I think that's quite a good description. <laughs> 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 and Owen with the 449 Zoom chat saying, you Whoa. think Concorde burns fuel? You should see me flying the F-16 on DCS. <laughs> well, I ran out of fuel in my F-16 in DCS the other day, and I still greased it. Look I did the downwind <laughs> leg and all sorts. Look and then that. as I touched down, there was a big explosion behind me, and it wasn't me, it was Owen Flemmo. Look where that Piper is already, by the way. It's behind us. You see Mental. that? Whoa, that thing turned quick. Is that a wide body? Whoa, oh, Qatar Dreamliner. Oh, nice. About nice to touch down. Let's see this one then. Yeah, seven hours, 15 minute flight. This one, the 787 9. Do love the uh, Qatar Dreamliners. I like the triples, but it's nice for them to mix it up every now and again as well. Get a 350 in here. Playing that. <laughs> we can have a look at the paint job on it. Can you imagine? <laughs> Love to see a guitar. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, Tina's asking, what's the retirement age for a pilot? Uh, we lose our medical, we lose our licenses, our medicals at 65 for a commercial pilot. You can fly light aircraft after it. Uh, really? Most, I, yeah. thought, I thought there's pilots older than that. Uh, not airline pilots, no. Um, in this country, anyway, you lose, you stop at 65. Uh, oh, most okay. people go long before that because they've had enough. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I can't Quit afford while to. You're yeah, yeah I'm, 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 I'm stuck till the very, very end. Um, but yeah, I, you know, other people do. They used to have this this funny rule. The French had a rule where you couldn't be a commander of an aircraft if you're over 60. Yeah. Um, in their airspace. So what happened is a lot of guys who reached 60 had to demote themselves to FO, so they could carry on flying for another oh, five years. No way. And then um, I think the French authorities were told, not. That's so a it cheeky way around it, yeah. Yeah. There is a question which uh, we'll zoom in on the A380 tail just for a quick second. Um, I think we spoke about this on stream before, but we'll um, we'll show you guys for those who don't know. Uh, question saying on Twitch, hey uh, guys, do you know what's going on with the Emirates tail? Because it's veering to the far left. Um, so I'll let you explain that one, mate. You, uh, you yeah, it's, uh, it's part of the rudder. Um, the hydraulics aren't being powered, so all the flight controls go limp and floppy. And something has obviously blown that that tail bottom half of the, of the rudder across. It looks like it's got a two, at least a two-piece rudder, like Concorde used to have. Um, so it's just been moved, and there's no hydraulic pressure to stop it. If you actually you might be able to see, yeah, you, if you look on the uh, horizontal part of the tail, you can see the elevator that's that's hanging down as well. Um, the, 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 the flat bit that's out horizontally is, is hanging down and when the engines start, the hydraulics get power they all go back to their normal centred position for flight Yeah, um, so it's, when the hydraulics not pressurised, they just become a big sail Yeah, and the yeah. wind will just push them in whichever way the wind is blowing at the time yeah. At Newcastle when it was windy, which was most of the time really windy, they would park the aircraft in the wind they, they would put them on it rather than have them you know, in, into the, the turbine, just point them into wherever the wind was so that the, uh, the controls weren't damaged. On light aircraft, you have control locks or gu gust locks that go in yeah. and stop them being moved. 
Yeah, they have them. They have them on the uh, dash eight as well. The slot for really? the props. Oh, yeah, I've seen those ones. Yeah, the old, yeah. Bits so of, it, where the throttle cool. is, there's like a, yeah. a lever in front that goes and you chuck it over. Yeah, the I've seen. I've seen the ones where they they have these like gloves that go on the end with long bits of. Uh, nylon strap, and then they sort of strap it down as the uh, actual blades and the whole engine car. So. All right. And we had a uh, 15 pound super chat, very generous, coming from Malky Stoddart as we get this Dreamliner taxi and passed in front of us, saying, wishing everyone in the airliners live team and the awesome community a joyful and restful Yuletide season from Mark Stoddart with a 15 pound super chat. Thank you very much, mate. It's very, very kind of you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good morning from my bed here in Toronto, Canada, says Christopher. <laughs> Welcome to you, mate. Must be early morning for you. Really early, eh? <laughs> it looks like we have something heavy down the end of the runway, bound for Cancun. Be the uh, Dreamliner from Tui. Yep, and we've got the uh, Air France A320 taxiing out. Looks like a, a classic A320 with the sharklets. But well, there is a repositioning just about to touch down as well, actually, which is another Dreamliner uh, coming in from Gatwick. Nice. So how would you reckon an aircraft of that size, pretty much fully empty, is going to perform coming in on, on a touchdown like that? Is it going to get blown around more yeah. or is it? Is yeah. It... Yeah. I mean, it's designed to, to be full and be heavy and that's how it's going to spend most of its time like flying. I mean, I've positioned uh, seven fives before um, from <laughs> Sierra Leone to Gatwick. Right. 20 tons of fuel waste, doing no passengers. And uh, I've positioned Airbuses around. And yeah, it's, some people say it handles like a crisp packet. It's yeah, it's, <laughs> it's all over the shop. Um, right. So is it more? Is it more twitchy or yeah, is it less responsive? No, it's, it's it's more. You just get knocked by the wind a bit more if it's empty. It hasn't got the the, the weight. It hasn't got the inertia of having all that weight on board to to get you there. Um, and obviously the control surfaces are designed to can turn the plane when it's a lot heavier as well. So yeah. the smaller inputs would have bigger outputs or um, not so much? You don't really notice it like that. You just notice that it's getting battered by any sort of wind, you know, a little bit more. Right. The position one uh, after a storm once down to, uh, down to Gatwick from East Midlands, it, it had a couple of go-arounds at Gatwick and flap over speeds and it sounded like they'd had a bit of a bad day. And, yeah, we took it down. It's still quite windy, and it was it was all over the shop. Was it? Yeah, more than normal, which is hard to see. <laughs> <laughs> and we had five airliners live gifted memberships coming in from Bob. Ladies oh, and gentlemen, let's get some lad. gifted emotes in the chat for Bob supporting the channel today. Thank you, mate. They've gone to um, It's HG, Andy Guy, Sebastian, uh, Margaret Pearson, um, all receiving those, and the Lundy Gruffalo as well. All receiving gifted memberships from Bob. Thank you very much, dude. Cheers, Bob. And Rachel with the eight months of business class support saying, so pleased I found this channel and community. Thank you, everyone, for keeping me company during the streams. It means a lot. And um, and the meow from Suki the cat as well. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rachel. Hope you're doing well. Up the veil saying they're loving listening to this. That's good. Um, someone asked... I can't remember who it was now, about the 737 MAX 7 and 10 certification issues. And do they think I'm going to... Do you think Boeing going to keep going with it and try and get it through? I, I don't know. Well, the worrying um, thing was they had a um, involuntary pitch issue on one of the 777X yes. tests as well, yes. which, uh, which is very... If I was a Boeing employee, I, that would be the point where I would say to everyone, right, we all stop now and we start again because yeah. Yeah, it is I'm, now passing between variants. Not just variants, but now passing between versions yeah. and aircraft. Like, they, they, need to, they need to strip it all back and start They've had again. a lot of problems with that trip, new 777 because it's, it's mostly a new aircraft. Um, they've had engine trouble. They had... If you look at the uh, Pilot Explains video on uh, Airliners Live, we were talking about the wing test where the, the original 777, they, uh, they bent the wings up uh, until they break. They do it on every aircraft. And the original 777 went 150% of what it was designed to do. And this one failed at 99% uh, and one of the doors popped open as well <laughs> because they pressurised the fuselage. So uh, they've, had it, they've had a few issues there. There was also um, reports of in one of the tests... Um, 
like a wasn't it a hole appearing in in the fuselage or sort of crack yeah, or something possibly, like that? Yeah. Someone in the chat will let me know. I think yeah. there was a crack in there. But I know um, I can't remember who was asking. They were asking <laughs> about this seven three because you've got the Max um, seven and ten. They're struggling to get it certified, and as of I think the end of this month, it's got to have ICAS like the seven five seven six. It's got to have a an alerting a better alerting system for failures. And then you can't retrofit it. It costs too much for an aircraft. They're not going to sell that many. And I think they're on the verge of giving up. They might keep going. I think Jordan would probably know more about it than I would if it next time he's on quiz yeah. him about it. But, I mean, I, I flew the 73 700 for 18 months, I think it was. I hated it. <laughs> Come really? off the 75 onto that. I absolutely hated it. Mm. Um, unrelated question. That Tui Dreamliner that just departed. I don't know if you've seen that. His the, gear was still down. This gear was still down. Now, this is something we see... You know, rarely, but we do see it every now and then, especially on the Dreamliners. The gear doesn't usually go straight up. Now, do you know why that might be? I we we always assumed it might be like hot brakes yeah. or something. Yeah, um, <laughs> that that would be my guess. Uh, we get we get a warning in, in the Airbus if we've got hot brakes, and uh, yeah, you can delay the gear attraction. Um, there have been instances where in the past where people have put the gear out in the cruise because they've got a hot brakes warning. And it turned out to be the icing fluid dripped onto the sensors. They put the gear out. Right. Now, that's a really, really bad thing to do. <coughs> um, that's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> right. It doesn't go well. Um, but, yeah, it's, you can, you know, it, it might be a gear issue. They might, you know, if it's a positioning flight, they could have, you know, the, the gear locked down. But uh, chances are it's just hot brakes. Leave it in the cold airflow for a bit. Once the temperature comes down, up it goes. So maybe a silly question. But how are they getting hot brakes just on a taxi out? And, and like, you've got to be riding the brakes a lot, like, because there, yeah, you'll yeah. land, you'll land from 145, 150 knots, yeah, and not get a hot, a hot brakes warning <laughs> when it's slowing. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's, how are they managing to build up hot brakes? I mean, on, on the Airbus, you you land on here, you make this turn off in front of us. Um, with a reasonable load of passengers, you're going to get hot brakes. You're going to get it, um, without a doubt. And even if it's the last flight of the day, I'll always put the brake fans on to cool them down because you don't want a hydraulic leak dripping on the hot brakes. The flash over hydraulic fluid is quite low. It's about 550 degrees, maybe. And you've got people working them out You've the got wheels people as well. there, yeah. So you get them on. So if that Dreamliner's come in from somewhere with a full load, it's landed... It's come off early. It's gone on to stand. They've done a quick turn, got the people back on, gone out. The brakes could still be quite hot. It takes a long time. Even for a couple of hours? All right. Yeah, yeah. well, I mean, I know with, with, with the Airbus, you know, if, if we do, say, a 30-minute, half-hour turn, you can get into that aircraft and you still have, you, you know, you can still have the warning on Yeah. Um, that they're over 300 degrees and then you've got to cool them down. Oh, there you go. But, yeah, it's, a, it's an awful lot of energy goes into the brakes. So, you, you know, you, think, you see the reversers. A lot of the time, all they're doing is just assisting the brakes. It's still mm. going to use the same amount of runway. Um, but if you're using a high on auto brake setting, then the brakes do come on quite hard. So an awful lot of energy goes into those little brakes. Yeah. Um, we also had something in the chat. Um, let me scroll back. Uh, John um, says, a few years ago, Toronto sent removal equipment and crews to help Heathrow. Do you remember that? A few years yeah, ago. I think I do, because they, they were just struggling with the snow. They couldn't cope. But yeah, that's right. I'm sure, I'm, I reckon, you know, I think that was about 12 years ago. Because I'm sure it was when, I remember when I was converting onto the Airbus donkey, you were 12 years, over 12 years ago now. I, yeah, uh, yeah, it must be, yeah, it must be 12 years ago. Um, we, Gatwick was in a, I was sent down to do some training out of Gatwick's um, on the Airbus and we went off to Nice and got stuck there overnight because Gatwick had just closed effectively. Mm. And then when we left the next day, we, you know, even then we had a massive uh, air traffic restriction. We came in, there was snow everywhere and Heathrow was in the papers because it had just melted, you know, complete meltdown. Gatwick wasn't far behind and it was just a mess. I do sort of remember that, yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for that, John. That's uh, not something I'd, I'd heard about, mate. Um, and Paul Marriott, thank you very much for the 20 months. He's a crew seat member as well. Uh, love listening to Mark. Merry Christmas to all of you at Airliners Live. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you. Are you okay to jump on the camera for five minutes? Yeah. So, um, well, I'll do have this lefties. And uh, some bloke who travels a lot with a 449 Super Chat. 
uh, saying I was on an A320 yesterday. Cabin crew were younger than the plane. Uh, <laughs> BA and Marrakesh along in Catwick. <laughs> Heathrow got hammered with multiple uh, many day snow events uh, when Toronto sent help, uh, said John. Yeah, I wasn't aware that they'd sent, uh, sent equipment over. I wonder what they used to send the equipment over. Hmm. Whether it's like an Antonov or what do you reckon they would have used to send oh, like snow no clearing? Idea. So it's got to be something like that, hasn't oh, it? It would have to be big, yeah. It'd have to be something yeah, big. It would have to be fairly big. Big and quick. Yeah. And it, you have to be able to land on, in the snow. <laughs> got some uh, Pratt and Whitney's on show here with the Lufthansa A320 Neo. And uh, Paul Davies, thank you very much for the 449 Super Chat. This is me signing off. Wish I didn't have to work today, but Merry Christmas and love to you all. I'll send pics from my flight to the Isle of Man. No worries, Paul. Hope you have a great time, Aww. mate. Great have, day at work as well. Don't forget me postcard. <laughs> There's two Wookiees, isn't there? The Turkish Wookiees going out. And this one's oh, just there. was there. Well, the Turkish taxi out now, yeah. So apparently Joanna, for the last few hours, has been called Trevanna ah. on, on her work's business call, meeting call. So I uh, guess you won't be hiring them then. <laughs> <laughs> so if everyone can just uh, call Joanna Trevanna from now on for the rest of the stream. How do you get that mixed up? That is a big... <laughs> Even I wouldn't get that one. I know some up. people have hard names to pronounce, but <laughs> Joanne is not the hardest. <laughs> right, uh, do you want to jump on now, and I'll 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 run. Yeah, one I've, sec. I've got to sort something real quick. Right, there's another elf on the shelf now, and it's me. Is it nice up there? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry, you know, the old uh, DHL lads on the ramp there, and I mentioned them from time to time, they're out there in all weathers. Um, I, do, I don't know how they do it. I really don't. They're a great bunch of lads. But, um, I'll be going in to see them in a couple of days. See how oh, yeah. dressed up as Santa. Like I said, his dad George is watching. Um, nice, nice. There's a good lad, Graham from Sheffield. He'll be... Uh, He'll be working. He's always working, even on his days off. But, uh, yeah, they're a good bunch of lads. They work hard. Yeah, it's, um, I must admit, like the other day when we had the um, all the snow and everything out, that would have been hard work, I think. Yeah. Because you're not you, you're loading equipment, the stuff on, and you've got everything that's coming off as well, and it's all slippy and it's cold. Your fingers are cold. Like they they put a shift in, don't they? Oh, don't they just? They were saying as well, you know, you're in the back, you're in the cargo hold, and you're getting all hot and sweaty. There's a couple of you in there chucking all these bags around, you know. And you're getting all hot and sweaty, and suddenly you're out into minus ten, and it's yeah. snowing. And oh, it's I mean, like say, me and Andy were southside for the half ten, and it was freezing, and we were only out for five hours, yeah. something like that. Like these guys are out in it all day. All day, yeah. I remember um, last year, there, it was supposed to be the Christmas switch on lights in our village, and uh, local coffee shop got me to do to turn up to scare people in my you know what I do for my, yeah, yeah, yeah. my old YouTube <laughs> channel and I was out there they'd cancelled it because the storm had come in I can't remember which one it was they cancelled it all but I went anyway because uh, I'm stupid like that and I was out there for an hour and a half and I'd lost the feeling in my arms up to my elbows and that was when I decided it's probably a good idea to call it a day, call it a day half yeah. of me was covered in snow it was just horrible <laughs> but yeah out there every day I couldn't do that Your Turkish Wookiee off to Istanbul. We've got the old Wi Fi dome at the back just by the tail there. Yep, see that? Yeah. 
We've got a couple of the old Air Berlins have got it. It actually um, increases your fuel burn, having it there. I can't remember what the number is. It's 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 one or two percent so really? on a long flight. Yeah, you do know it. I can't remember what it is. Exactly. That is uh, that's surprising. Yeah. And I um, there was a video because I know we've we spoke about this before actually um, about dirty planes and how yeah. it, how it affects it. I could not believe the V two speed increase. Uh, is it V two speed on a on a really dirty plane? Was it was that what it? Am I um, no, you think I think you're thinking of are you thinking of the stall speed um, with iced up wings? So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, so I'm thinking of the um, yeah. So I was thinking that there was a conversation that, that we had about that, but then there was yeah. a video that they had about the dirty plane, right? And how much extra weight it added yeah. to the plane. And it was something crazy. I can't remember to figure out after I look it up and put it in the VIP lounge. But they were saying just the weight that it can add. Yeah. So the yeah, plane was just Especially mental. you think of the size of 380 if it's covered in dirt and that, yeah. I'm sure. It, I, I might be wrong, but I'm sure it was over a ton. Yeah. I, it, actually, it's a shame we haven't got one coming past at the moment. Um, if you have a look at um, the engines on a 320, say... Uh, let me just find the bit I want. I want that. Um, if you have a look on the outside and the inside of the engines, on the cowl, you've got these little strips of metal. Yeah. Um, called strakes. And if they're missing, it makes quite a big difference to the performance of the aircraft. Okay. Uh, I'll have to have a look for these because this is uh, the Embraer. That's, uh... I'll just look it up and I'll come back to you on it because... Uh, Oh, Jimmy lining up. But if you're enjoying today's show, guys, get involved in the chat. Say hello. This is our last show of 2023, but um, of course we will give you an, a massive thank you um, towards the end of the show as well for everything you guys have done for us this year. This is, uh, as Andy said earlier on, been our first um, year full time on airliners live in its five-year history and it's gone so fast it's gone really really fast and we've just loved every single minute of it guys it's been absolutely fantastic right i found what i'm looking for so on the engines round the i don't think that thing's got them but they're on the airbus you've got these strakes these little bits of metal that stick out these little metal plates that stick out into the airflow and there's four fitted you can you can lose them all um, you can have them all taken off if, as long as the holes are covered. So your procedures are, your approach speed goes up by 7 knots, your landing distance goes up by 1.11, and you've got to reduce your max takeoff weight, if it's limiting performance, by 3,160 kilos. What? Yeah, nearly 3.2 tonnes, just by these little bits of metal that are on the... Actually, that has got them um, about halfway down. Let me, uh, let me have a look. On the Austrian, about halfway down the, the, the middle of the engine where the uh, red goes to the white. So these things. These little bits of metal there, yeah. The those veins, little things there. Right? Call them. That's it, yeah. Yeah, they're called nacelle strikes. So on the Airbus, if they're missing and you're on a performance limited weight, you've got to reduce it by nearly 3.2 tonnes. That is crazy, it's isn't crazy, it? It's crazy, just for a little bit of metal like that. I've never noticed before in those embryos. Look, like the yeah. Chevron the back there as well. Smart little bit of kit, that's lovely. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. There you go. I've so, what would what would not one of them off like? Just wear and tear? Or? Um, no, I mean, I, I I don't know. Actually, I have I have flown aircraft with them missing before. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a decent bird strike might do a bit of damage to it. Yeah. Bend it. I don't know. Nabila, welcome back. Three months of support. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for supporting the channel. And uh, we've also got Singapore on the taxi out as well. So, well worth sticking around, guys. I've just been waved at furiously by the Virgin Queen. She's floating around. She's come down to see us all. Oh, yeah. For the after show party that Fez is not invited to. Yeah. She's making the uh, <laughs> sandwiches, isn't she? Is she? No, the, the ones that John really likes. Oh, them ones? Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. yeah. Well, she did say she was going to do them, but, um, you know, just to spite him because he's so mean to her on his show. Bless him. It's a shame he's not here, actually. I, I, I do like him. He's a, he's a funny lad, isn't he? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do. I'll take him off your hands. He's good fun. 
Yeah, no, he's, he's sound. It's just one of them, like, we've... Uh, it's just a, <laughs> To be honest, it is just a midweek show for us with uh, with a lot of thank yous involved. But, um, I know, we'll be uh, we'll be making sure we get him down in February for the mm. Aviation Society Fair, guys, and he'll be on the shows as well, so make sure you get involved in that. He said I could have picked him up on the way down. I don't like him that much. <laughs> <laughs> Four hours in a car. <laughs> There we yes. go, look at that. Yeah. I am a fan of this livery, I've said it it's quite a few yeah. times. See, so he's had the nose cone replacement. I know. Uh, you see the strakes on the engine now on that one. Oh, on the yeah, inside and are, the outside, yeah. yeah. So there they are, guys, that's what Mark was talking about before. Look at this livery. Love it. Oh, what? Oh, it's all kicking off in the chat. Is it? Because Tony Parkinson has dropped a mega bomb hey, donation whilst I'm, I'm trying to control the camera here and read at the same time. Mr. Tony P dropping up, a man? mega bomb donation. Thank you very much, Ray, saying thanks for all the amazing content in 2022 um, from the Airliners Live Cooney community. Hope everyone has a great Christmas. Thank you very much, mate. That is an awesome, awesome amount of support. Thank you very much, dude. I think Santa will be looking in his bulging sack to see if there's a present for Tony P after this. He might not want it. <laughs> How can you turn Harry Post down? Thank you very much, mate. That's a huge donation coming in today, supporting the channel. We do rely on your support, guys, but it's never, never expected. So thank you very much for all of uh, the support that's coming on today's show. Right now, Max. Next to arrive. In from Milan. Thank you very much, Chester Mike. Couldn't do it without you, mate. Did you not use the uh, the split video signal in the end? Yeah, I did, but it, it put a really weird audio artifact in. No worries. It was pulsing and beeping and doing all sorts of weird stuff. So. Ah, uh, it's because you've used the uh, the tower's power for it. You just plugged it straight into the wall. That'll be the reason. Got you. Oh, sorry, guys. Singapore. What's that? I have no idea what you're showing me there. Oh, it's my flashing nice list. Okay. <laughs> so when you have people who are on the nice list, they get that. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, got over the I've got um, a, an app on my phone called Big, and it's big letters and it flashes. <laughs> and uh, when I'm in the flight deck dressed as Santa, if I see any kids out there, I'll hold that up at the window and you get this yes out yeah. of the kids because they think they're on the nice list. Is it a quad jet you're looking at? Yes. Yes. Wow, that's a, a Lufthansa A340 heading off to Boston. Wow. I'm going to lose it because of the tripod. Sorry, guys. How do you like the uh, the screen? Yeah, it's great. It's pretty good, isn't it? It's just like, it's so chill. You can just sit back, relax. Wow, I missed the 50-pound megabong from uh, Tony P as well. You, get, you Did you read that out? I did. Wow. Tony, thank you so much. Appreciate that. He's trying to get a shot there of that 340 go. going over at the moment. I've just bumped into uh, one of our um, beloved VIPs, Meal Lissa, as uh, Fezza calls her. Uh, she's she's floating around at the RVP. She was actually on FaceTime to Fezza. Oh, is uh, that what you went out <laughs> for, is it? <laughs> just bumped into her as I was running past. I had to go to the cafe because I needed some water because my throat's getting dead dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, and I was in the queue and I was like, hang on, I look like a... <laughs> So, you know, earlier on, just before we started the show, this was funny. Go on. I, um, 
you might have noticed at the very beginning of the show, guys, I it was just Andy. I was like, I really need to go for a quick wee before we start the show. <laughs> so, and I had my elf suit on. So I thought, let me put me <laughs> let me put my coat on, so I don't look like an idiot going to the toilet. And it it was only as I was walking out of the toilet on the way back that I realised, hold on, you've got your elf hat on. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just stood there in an elf hat having a wee. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. So anyway, it was a good idea. You got the uh, the ones that are easily accessible, should I say? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, <laughs> think it's quite amusing when I was watching you walking across the cafe in your full elf out- outfit, and I thought, oh, he's forgot he's to committed. take it off. He's committed. He's not bothered. <laughs> His dedication. The cause isn't there, right? Really. So we got the airliners live squad on the mound. I'm sure they won't mound. There they are. Well, there's a squad looking fresh. Matty Smith. Are we gonna get some attention? Oi! All ready for the uh, the party after, aren't they? Look yeah. All. What the one that Fez is not invited to. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Mr. Matt Smith has, because uh, he's the cameraman now, he's been gifted an airliner's live official bit of uh, uniform. Instead of stealing it like Fez does. <laughs> no, well, squads there. Uh, yeah, even Fez doesn't have that yet. Don't have that. Matt's, uh, Matt's, Matt's doing hey, 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 it's looking fresh. <laughs> the old squad's in, the old squad's, there we go, <laughs> they woke up a bit, there we go, guys. Do you want your phone passing up, because a notification from your dad just popped up. Okay, I need to know for, for a wee anyway, Okay, yeah, so. yeah, whenever you want to jump off, then I'll, I'll jump back up. I don't mind jumping on when I get back if you want. I just need to miss That's all right. I'm good. Musical cars is this, isn't it? It right. is. <laughs> We've also got cards. Christmas themed mm. game we can play. And this involves the chat as well, which is why I, I really loved it. It stuck out to me when I was shopping the other day. It's uh, Would You Rather. Oh, so yeah, it's just like yeah, scenarios yeah. of Would You Rather Do This and That. Yeah. I don't think this game has any, any like scoring system to it. Just but, a bit of fun. Yeah, just a bit of fun. And I'd love to just get the chat involved and just see what more topics. And we can even ask Santa what he'd rather do. Mm-hmm. Would you rather fly a 737 again or shove wasps up your bum? <laughs> <laughs> the second one, without a doubt. <laughs> My dad sent a picture. <laughs> he said, Captain Mark's busy. He's also outside M&S selling the big issues. <laughs> 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 Well, you know. How did you do that while you were studying? It's been a difficult year. (laughs) Your presents are expensive. (laughs) I need all the help I can get. You made that trip quick. Did you Uh, do that on the break when you went to the toilet? (laughs) I've been, yeah. I've no time. (laughs) Yeah, I'll I'll, um, I'll just nip for a very, very quick wee. Hold on. Stand by, chat. <laughs> right till I get in there. Right, I'm back up on the camera. How are we all doing, folks? Hope you're enjoying the show. Ryan S737 800 just touched down. 2 3 right. I can smell hot dogs as well. Why is that? Who's caused that? Not guilty, Your Honour. Getting there, uh, blowing downwind from the cafe. Well, he's never dad, indeed. My favourite Christmas song, though. Have you got a favourite Christmas song? Let us know in the chat as well. Look it up. <laughs> Can't remember Christmas. Oh, I like Cold December Night by Mickey Bubbles. All oh, right. Yeah, Carl beat a, a bit of Mickey, Mickey Bubbles at Christmas <laughs> time, didn't you? <laughs> Rachel Dawes with a two pounds super chat as well. Thank you, Rachel. Saying a little something towards more pork pies. I love it, Rachel. Thank you so much. That will go to a good cause, including in the new year, we're going to do a pork pie tasting 
session <laughs> where we apparently <laughs> this was organized when I was uh, away. Uh, apparently, we're going to be doing. I think it's Martin's dad who's going to be buying us loads of pork pies from different supermarkets and things, and butchers and whatnot. And uh, we're we're going to compare and see which is the best and do like a blind test. Driving home for Christmas. Yeah, that's a good one, isn't it? The fairy tale of New York. Yeah, that's one of them ones that like you never learn the words for it because it's never <laughs> it's never out for long enough. Last Christmas is my fave. That is like the uh, the most Christmas vibey, I think. When when you hear that on the radio. Did you play the the Wham game this year? The Wham game. Yeah, no. a lot of the FOs have been playing it. It's, it's, it. Do you get whammed? And you've got to go through <laughs> up till Christmas as long as possible without hearing the Wham Christmas song. Getting whammed. Yeah, and you got whammed. I saw the FO the other day was whinging. He was like, oh, "I got whammed." He said, "You know, put the radio on." There it was, blaring away. I got out to message the lads and say, "I got whammed." I'm like, "Oh." Dear. Yeah. Oh, hi, Louise. How are you? Nice. Well, to see. You probably can't even step foot in a shop or anything. Then, if no. you want to, if you want to play that game, no. no. That, I don't really listen to the radio or watch TV or anything. But still, you know, I'll be, I'll be in the ASDA or, you know, some some shops play them pretty loud as well. So you're kind of getting a bit of a boogie on. There's an elf running towards us. <laughs> He's behind yeah. us. Huh? Oh, I've, just had a, I've just had a shout from one of the DHL lads, the, those that aren't working or watching. And uh, yeah, apparently the, the number one DHL FLM called Nick wants a shout out, but uh, he said number one FLM, so I don't know who he means by that. It must be Graham, who we mentioned earlier. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're all watching anyway. Hope you guys are enjoying. Are, they're all, are they based here at Manchester, you're saying? Yes, yeah, they are. There's, uh, they, if they're not doing a turn at the moment, they might have been watching in the crew room because I know they like to uh, watch you guys. Yeah. Oh, what a good bunch. There's an elf. There's an elf. I'm back in the room. Elf on the shelf. That's my first ever <laughs> we as an elf. Yeah. Well, not bad, actually. Uh, Paul's asking, when landing, the sw is the swap from rudder to nose wheel steering automatic based on speed? Um, the Airbus is a funny system. It blends. You, st um, you start off... The takeoff roll with the rudder pedals, obviously, and you're controlling the nose wheel. And around about, I want to say about 110, 120 knots is at sort of the midpoint. It blends from the nose wheel to the rudder, and it's quite seamless. You don't know what's happening, but after a certain speed of maybe I think 120, I can't remember. I'd have to look it up. But so yeah, it's the rudder that's then controlling you because you've got a, a speed called uh, VMCG, velocity minimum control on the ground. And that's the minimum speed that all the flight controls will work. So below that, the rudder really, you know, it doesn't really... Just ineffective. Yeah, it doesn't do an awful lot. Um, but it, it, it's very, very clever. It's very complicated because it's Airbus and, you know, no one really understands what it's doing. But it, it just blends between the two. And likewise on landing, it will blend back on itself. The Neo's got a new little thing as well. It's got this... Um, this new, you start off in what's called um, ground mode and then it goes into... Um, it's got like a, a, a new added bit for when you actually rotate. Um, it, they're just adding bits to it to try and make it safer. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, they, there was a there was a problem with with trim issues, and uh, they, they noticed that if you had unreliable airspeed at a certain speed, we have a new airspeed check, 80 knots. If you've got unreliable airspeed, you've got to stop because the aircraft can't work this new rotation mode properly because it worked off the speed and if one airspeed saying something and the third the second one saying something else and the third one saying something else it doesn't know what to do, you know what to do right. so you've got to you know you've got to be a bit a bit sharp with that it was more for covid when all planes were parked up and bugs were getting in the probes and that but uh, well there we go we had a brand new vip sign up as well very warm welcome to val uh blundell thank you very much for signing up to premium economy membership really appreciate it welcome to the vip club hope you're well and uh, if you're enjoying the show today, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a like. But um, let's have a look at these then. These cards that Mr. B has, uh, has given us. So these have got look like there's going to be uh, questions um, yeah. that you have to ask. So what's the difference between red and... I don't know. It didn't even come with instructions. It just gave me them. So I was just like, OK. OK, well, here's the first one because we are airliners live. Uh, which means we are a food channel, guys. Yep, so in the chat, feel free to answer as well, and we'll answer. Yes, so the question is, and uh, 
you can answer this in the chat as well. Would you rather eat your cereal with eggnog on it instead of milk or eat a mince pie sandwich? There you go. A mince pie sandwich? Yeah. By two slices of bread. That sounds... I mean, that's not really that bad, that, is that it? Doesn't, that just sounds weird. Uh, or eggnog on cereal. Yeah. That I've never act- tried eggnog. I have, but I can't, you know. <laughs> it's got things in it that I can't have. I think the uh, the pork pie, the uh, mince pie sandwich any day of the, of the of the week there. Mince pies in general are pretty good. A lot of them don't have um, egg or milk in them as well, so... I have more than I'm supposed to, including the the ones here at the Runway Visitor Park Cafe. Mince pie sandwich. A lot of people. Mrs. Airlines live going for a mince pie sandwich. Mince pie sandwich every day of the week. Sam likes that. Do you mean you not normally have them? What's that like? um, It's like a a liquor you can drink that is uh, like egg based around Christmas. You know what I mean? What's that called? I forget the name. Maybe someone in the chat will know. There's two easy jets in shot there, it looks like. I like a uh, a bit of Bailey's me. Nice Bailey's. Mm. Oh, I love Bailey's. Bailey's oh, my in gosh. Hot chocolate as well. Yeah, oh, my God. Like, warm as well. <laughs> Walking around in the Christmas markets in the freezing cold with a nice warm Bailey's. Oof. This What's e- eggnog? How would you describe it? Well, I've never had it, so I'm not the one with you. I've yeah. had it. None no, of I've us never have had, had it. it. No, no I've, I've tried it, but I don't, I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I've just been... I've right, just here's one sampled for Sampled it. Would you rather... Here we go. Only eat mince... Hold on, let me start again. <laughs> Would you rather only eat Brussels sprouts for a whole week or never be able to eat mince pies again? Wow. So you, to, to keep eating mince pies, you've got to have nothing but Brussels sprouts for a whole week. To be honest, I think you'd be dead. <laughs> I was going to say, would, Mate, is that even, even possible? That for you, you would inflate by about ten times with all that <laughs> gas, I'd say. Yeah, I can't really eat Brussels without retching. I can't get on with them at all. So, uh, yeah. But I love me mince pies too much, so I'd have to, I'd have to try. You'd eat them for a week. Just, just don't eat anything. I'd probably just starve for a week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Santa does say, though, please don't leave Brussels sprouts out for the reindeers. <laughs> Rudolph has a, a delicate constitution, and when you're flying along and the tail goes up, it's not a nice evening for poor Santa. <laughs> <laughs> This easy jet to vacate in the runway is in from um, Innsbruck. Welcome back. <laughs> that we- destination that's kind of getting a lot more popular this time of year with the snow or... Yeah, yeah, they're doing... I think they're doing one on Christmas Day as well. Oh, right. And something like Four Geneva's, Hergarda, uh, Innsbruck, a couple of others. A lot of people travelling to these kind of destinations on Christmas Day. I didn't think it was a big deal. To I mean, obviously, people travel for, like... Uh, own personal reasons and stuff, but I mean, do people go on holiday on Christmas Day? Mm. Uh, Peter H supporting the channel with a £10 super chat saying thanks for all the hours of entertainment over the year. Uh, get yourselves a Christmas drink. Cheers, thank you very much, mate. Really appreciate it, Peter. Thanks for supporting the channel, mate. Jen's not a fan of the old sprouts for a week, I don't think. Well, I'll try and see. Yeah, I'm all right, mate. <laughs> Listen, if you want to do science, you do science. <laughs> Look at that. Eh? We teach you about planes. We do science as well. <laughs> DCS uh, Cleaning is telling us that uh, his granddad used to have custom his Yorkshire puddings. That sounds pretty good, actually. Well, Yorkshire puddings are made with the same ingredients as pancakes. So you can just make them, like, sweet. Yeah. And, and likewise, you know, like, they can make a pancake a savoury thing as well. My, my two little ones make amazing Yorkshire puddings. They, 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 we've got this special flour we get from our local grocers, and they, they just puff up. They're just amazing. Massive. Huge. Absolutely Ooh. monstrously big. No way. Yeah, I do some good girls puddings. Yorkshire puddings. They're uh, Aunt Bessie ones. Oh, yeah, you can't fall off with Aunt no, Bessie, you? get can them you? out of the bag and you put them in the oven. They come out great. Yeah, you never fall off with Aunt Bessie, that's for certain. She knows her stuff. There you go, British oh, Airways wow. A320 heading back to London. Coming on to your house, they're massive, man. <laughs> yeah, they're good. They yeah, are. That's a proper Yorkshire pudding, that. Yeah, good little chefs, MT. Back to London Heathrow for this A320. Uh, 
by Nicola Edwards. Brand new VIP. Welcome to Creamy Economy, Nicola. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for supporting Welcome. the channel today. You'll be invited to the 4K testing tomorrow. Be in the yes. morning sometime tomorrow. We'll uh, we'll get the announcement made about the, the, the estimated times. Uh, but tomorrow we are going to be running the first ever tests of 4K live streaming here from Manchester Airport, quadrupling the resolution of our uh, live streams for the new year. And to do that, we need to run a few tests. So we were going to come down anyway and test. Um, and just like with the Vancouver shows, we are also going to broadcast them tests live to the VIPs so they can uh, <laughs> have a nose and see how it's going. But it won't be super slick. It won't be a show. It will just be us kind of, you know, filming some planes and, you know, a bit of chatter and things, but most of all... Us it's mainly just testing, guys. Yeah, testing things, so things might turn <laughs> off. Don't, you know, just like with the Vancouver ones, don't go in expecting a show because, you know, it, it, the show might go offline a few times and things. Just be patient. Yeah. It's completely a bonus, so... Uh, here's one. Now, this is, uh, this is a good one. We'll see what the chat thinks of this. Go on. Would you rather have a pet dragon... The size of a reindeer, or a pet reindeer the size of a dragon. <laughs> dragon, size of a reindeer. You reckon yeah. that that would be destructive? No, that would, how mate, would you that ever would cause some drama? No, I'll, try, I'll train it, mate. I've probably trained rabbits. I can train anything. <laughs> I'll, I'll get it trained. My kids love their love dragons, and uh, even me old, me, me oldest, me twenty three year old, she. Um, She's got a toothless dragon, you know, cuddly toy. You know, you've got to have your dragons. Yeah. And Brian, welcome back to first class membership, returning member. Thank you, mate. A lot of people saying reindeer the size. Uh, well, there's a lot of people saying dragon. How big's a dragon? They're like, you know, the well, it's like a dragon, isn't it? Like, it's like massive. We're talking like yeah. watch game size of an aircraft or size, yeah. size of an A380. Or... Yeah, I don't know. If you've watched uh, Rain of Fire, they're, they're big. Yeah, they are big. That's yeah, big, oh, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so yeah. You imagine having to shovel up a reindeer after that, you know, after, this, <laughs> after okay. the sprouts. You know? Okay, yeah, yeah that's... <laughs> dragon. That sold me, that. Dragon. Oh, Kevin, don't be getting yourself in trouble this close to Christmas, mate. <laughs> Carl's just said, Yorkshire pudding's filled with jam topped with custard. Mate, I'm sold. If you can't feel oh, your okay. arteries hardening with every bite, it's not worth chewing. No, there you go. <laughs> Brian's asking, do you need to sit two different tests to fly joystick or wheel? Is it like a car where you can drive stick or man? No, you, you need to do it a, a, a complete rating on the different types. So if you're flying an Airbus with a side stick and you go onto a Boeing, you've got to do a complete type rating on it. Because all the systems are different and all the speeds are different, all the weights are different. It's just completely different. Even the uh, flight computers are different. Is your A320 Neo coming in here? Hotel Mike on the reg. Let's fake it. And in from Alicante. I'm surprised the likes of Alicante are still popular this time of year because I didn't think it would be that warm there. I guess it's quite like a, a party destination, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just flicking through these cards trying to find yeah. the good one. You don't have to uh, you don't have to have nice weather if you're going around the bowls of Benny Dorm, do you? Exactly, yeah. Uh, it's twenty degrees there at the moment. Ooh, that's a nice temperature. Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? That's crazy. Because yeah. it's only half twelve, isn't it? I know the um the more the more the, the north of uh, Spain gets pretty chilly this time of year. Actually, roughly this time last year I was in um Madrid. Um, it was a little bit earlier, but the end of November it was more like, because I was flying on the British Airways A380 that did the little test runs between Heathrow and Madrid and Heathrow and Frankfurt, and um, that got pretty cold. That was like not not much different to Manchester, if I was honest. Just sort of you know, two three degrees Celsius. Uh, it would warm up a bit in the in the afternoon, but yeah, it's yeah. up about two thousand feet up as well, isn't it? So it'll be even colder. Yeah, <laughs> near the mountains. I remember just walking around in the morning. And, yeah, it's about two degrees Celsius. Freezing cold. I haven't packed anything thermal or that warm. Nabila, thank you very much for the four ninety nine super chat. Saying, wish you guys luck on twenty twenty three and enjoy the holidays because of Simon. I can't catch you guys always, but I like uh, I uh, I like 
but I like my like to channel always. So you are enjoying the channel as well. Thank you very much, Nabil. I hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for supporting the channel this year as well. Really do appreciate it. And what do we have here? Only a Saudi -er. Dreamliner coming in. 787-9 coming in from Jeddah. Is this a little bit early? Yes, it is. It's five minutes early in total. Coming into Manchester today. Here we go. This is... Uh... This is kind of quite close to home, actually, because we've just experienced one of these. Would you rather sing the chorus of Jingle Bells loudly every time you enter a room or have to wear an elf costume everywhere? For how long? <laughs> Ever. Forever. <laughs> oh, I mean, that'll be both forever. There you go, chat. Well, I've just been an elf going to the toilet. i got some funny looks, so there you go. I was going to say... Um, so would you rather have to sing Jingle Bells every time you went to a room or just be constantly dressed as an elf? Um, elf. Jingle Bells? Jen, I've heard you're singing. <laughs> I think people... Yeah, you're in trouble. It's not fair on everybody else, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I think people out of, out of season would get a bit annoyed with the Jingle Bells. Yeah. It'd be funny around Christmas, but... I'd, I'd go for being dressed as an elf. I would too. That'd be my... Uh, I mean, I've not really had anyone... The guy who served me in the cafe was, was a bit puzzled, but... <laughs> <laughs> what have we got here? This oh, Saudi Dreamliner, lovely jubbly. Got a question from Brian King. He's <clears throat> asking the EasyJet had uh, Charlie Taylor on the side of it. Is that like Stobart truck thing, or did you pay to get your name in a plane? Um, no, unfortunately, the names on the planes, and most of them are people who have worked who were EasyJet and unfortunately passed away. And uh, we remember them by putting them on our aircraft. So... Um, yeah, there's uh, there's quite there's a few of them out at the moment, um, but yeah, that's the reason why I'm that one. That's sweet. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, we've seen Charlie Taylor a few times, yeah. and there's there's a, a Polish name as well. I oh, um, Peter Zimmerman. Yeah, that's yeah, he was a trainer at Luton. He's a mate of mine. Was a good friend of his. And oh, there's wow. Winston Chow. He was a lovely bloke. Um, and there's a there's a lady's name, but I think that's the oh, I the name now. I'll have to try. I'll, it'll probably come to me at some yeah. point. Jen says, a guy at my uh, my work hums jingle bells all year round. Well, what? The, maybe he's uh, been cursed with that uh, with that spell. Or maybe he's Buddy the Elf. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he starts coming into work in an elf costume, then, uh, you know, he's changed his mind. I would say other Christmas films are available... <laughs> but that's not true. You, you only watch Elf, and you watch Elf on repeat until my, January. My favourite's most wonderful time of the year. It's got the, it? Yeah, it's got the funs in it, and it's just great. It's just brilliant. So I've got a few. I like Elf. Yeah. I like the first Mrs. Miracle. Right. That's a good one. Obviously, the first Home Alone. Yeah. And first um, Die Hard. Well, <laughs> I'm not that bothered about Die Hard. <laughs> and then the last one was... Um, oh, God, why has it just up there? What's that film we watched? The black and white one where the guy wishes... Miracle on 30... Miracle on 30th Street. Or 34th Street. 34. Street. The one where the guy says it's in black and white and the, the angel comes down to help him. Right, that's it, yeah. That one. That's a good film. Oh, it's a out. Wonderful Life. There you go. I like that one, yeah. That's oh, a good one. Right, okay. It is good, yeah. So we've got Mrs. Miracle, It's a wonderful, wonderful Life, First Home Alone, and Elf. That is my Christmas choices. Let us know if you've got any uh, awesome Christmas selections in the chat, guys. Yeah, wonderful life for me, I think. But uh, that's a good one, isn't it? I do, I do like the, just the old classics. I know there's quite a new, like a few new Christmas films and that, but none of them ever stick. The Grinch. <laughs> uh, Von Ryan's Express. But you like yeah, Elf, that's a though, blinding one, that one, Peter. <laughs> yeah, Elf, Elf's good. Elf is 10 out of 10. Elf's kind of become a bit of a family tradition in our family with my dad and me and my sister. Because obviously my sister lives in London now, so it's like, right, when we're all watching Elf, we're all going to put it on at the same time. <laughs> we all watch the uh, most wonderful time of the year. It's our, our one. We get the uh, Greg's mince pies out, and my 12-year-old uh, makes the hot chocolates, and we sit there and watch it every year. Nice. It's brilliant. This has got me excited now for Christmas. The holiday. Jen likes the holiday, I think. And she also liked, yeah, that's it, the National Lampoons one. I didn't watch that. 
Which Home Alone do you watch? Is it just the original? The original. Yeah, that's, that's the one I watch. The original. I'm not bothered there's a about few. The there's like five, isn't there, or something ridiculous? Yeah. The one where he comes through the window and he's put all his toys on the on the floor <laughs> when he has the uh, bucket of paint on the swing down the stairs. Yeah. Did anyone else, when they were younger, like try and work out how they could set all these traps up? <laughs> what year did that come out, that film? Must be the, the 90s, maybe? Uh, I wasn't 90s. that young back then. <laughs> That's why. Maybe the late 80s? And we'll throw in another would you rather while we all have a think, shall we? So this one is, uh, is a tough one. You either have no taste buds for the rest of your life, or, for the rest of your life, you can only see red and green. <laughs> I'm going to go for the red and green. Have no taste buds, was that? You either have no taste buds or you can only see red and green. For that, that could be dangerous, you know. Well, all I see is red and green at the moment because there's two Muppets standing yeah. here with green and red health <laughs> costumes. So. Yeah, I'll take that one. I'm used to it. <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, you definitely want red and green so you can enjoy your food. Yeah. Yeah. The original Scrooge. Yeah, I like the original Scrooge. Jen, or I don't think Jen put it on, but it was on TV the other day. Another Scrooge one was rubbish. <laughs> it was, um, who was in it, Jen? You'll, you'll know. It's not the Bill Murray one. I don't know. That was Scrooged, wasn't it, that one? Yeah. I'm terrible Scrooged. with names. Yeah, that was, that was quite entertaining, wasn't it? We used to have that Muppets film on in our house quite often. You know, mm. the, the Muppets Christmas Carol, is it called? Anyone seen that? Yeah. Anyone who's watching this stream's got the Muppets on at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Star Trek guy, Patrick Stewart. Yeah, that's it. Patrick Stewart was uh, Scrooge. Muppets Christmas Carol bangs. <laughs> yeah, it, it is good, isn't it? <laughs> uh, aviation fact from Mike saying, Jimmy Stewart, who stars in It's a Wonderful Life, was a B-24 Liberator pilot flying missions from the UK over Germany in World War II. What the heck? Wow. Wow. That's, wow. He did well to survive that one, didn't he? Ooh. Yeah, Chrissy, I wasn't a fan either. Nice and shiny, isn't it? Looks great. Yeah. <laughs> nice long boy. The uh, this is a seven three seven nine hundred, and the way I usually identify that is that exit at the back looks really far back in comparison to the wings. Yeah, I bet that flies even worse than the <laughs> others. <laughs> Well, you said then you fly the 700. 700. Yeah, I had a mate, he flew, he flew the older ones. Well, a few mates have flown the older ones and the NGs. And uh, one bloke, he, he flew for Ryanair, and he said that he found the 700 handled better than the 800, but he said it was still awful compared to a 75. And I just zoomed in on this EasyJet Europe car, Neo. Uh, Fraser Lofts on the front of that one. Oh, OK. Um, so that's another, oh, yeah. another name that they have... Uh, Displayed on the uh, the nose, there, the side of the nose. Um, Louise is asking if uh, Fez is going a flight with me over Christmas. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Tim, thank you very much for the two. Wow, what is that? Yora, mate, I nearly Tim. look at that. I nearly pressed the button on me thing on me oh, audio mixer, and there's a massive weird fly on there. Uh, it's like orange. I thought you didn't know what the currency was. <laughs> no, so I, thought, I thought it was a bee. I know. It's gonna sting me though. Get out of it. Um, thank Oof. you for the two, two euro super. I can press it now. Some wacky bugs coming from the North Pole today. Look for a beautiful plane out of a beautiful country, says Tim. Thank you very much for supporting the channel, mate. And Randy, welcome back. The 18 months. Um, saying Jimmy Stewart was also a brigadier general. Merry Christmas, guys. Uh, and Mrs. Airline is live as well. Thank you very much, um, Randy. Really appreciate it. And uh, Randy also gifting five airliners live memberships to the community as well. Really appreciate it, mate. Thank you very much. Louise has just messaged, no mark his picture. Sorry, Louise. Yeah, I, I know what you mean now. Yeah, he always comes flying with me, uh, especially if there's anyone out with a camera or filming or whatever. Then uh, Fez's picture is always in the window. Just to, you know... 
plug the channel a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you appeared on um, Simon Lowe's stream as well, but it was a little bit too far away. Yeah. So I don't think he, I don't think he zoomed in enough either for no. obviously he didn't. You know. I've been on a few of the other streamers ones because uh, the good thing about putting the, the card in with the logo and Fez's face in the window is that I can spot my aircraft quite easily. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah. Sun Express livery, isn't it? Like mm. Painting the bottom of the engines. Yeah, it's Melissa trying to uh, deconstruct the livery one bit at a time. <laughs> she knows <laughs> gifted memberships went to Marcel, Paul Bentley, Brian, Alan Burnett, and Jeff. Thank you very much for gifting those memberships. Hope you're well. Thank you, Randy. I really appreciate that. Really kind of you. It's really the uh, the season of gifting, isn't it? And if you want to get involved with the gifting memberships, you have to be on a PC or a laptop. Um, and what you do is, if you're already a member, you can hit the dollar symbol or um, the the um, button underneath the chat, and it lets you gift memberships. And obviously, you support the channel just like you do with a a super chat. But this time, some lucky person in the chat gets a nice little gift. For some reason, I quite often get them. I know uh, Martin, your dad, <laughs> I don't think he's ever paid to be a member because every single time it expires, someone else gifts him a yeah, membership. he's been pretty lucky with the old gifties. And I think what YouTube do, they say they do this as well, is the people who are more active in the chat who are not members and people who watch more uh, are more likely to get gifted a membership. It's completely random, though. There's just a slight bias. 55-minute... Runway to runway turnaround for the Sun Express. Cheers for the info, Andy. Nice. It's always interesting to see that kind of info. So, yeah, towards the end of the show, we are going to try and get the uh, the the video to play for you guys, which is um, the um, end of year review video, which is about 10 minutes long, and it has all of our favorite memories uh, from 2022. The first full year we've ever done, full time on Airliners Live. And uh, it's been quite a good year. It's it's some of the memories, man, from earlier this year. Like they seem so long ago. Although this year's gone really fast. When you look back at like January, February, you're like, whoa, that was like I completely forgot about that. It seemed so long ago. There's a lot of stuff on that video that I totally forgotten about. Like like the time when you went to Harden and you met up with uh, Stu from the yeah. Spotters Group and, yeah. and hung out with him and seen all these new locations. And we also had the the Fly 360 sim here at the RVP, which wasn't even that long ago. Uh, that was uh, introduced. Um, obviously, the charity show was on there, and just loads of little unique memories, like unique planes that we see in liveries. Like the, I completely forgot about the Qatar Retro. Remember the the Qatar Triple Seven? Yeah, that was really nice. In wasn't a it? retro scheme, um, of course, like the Emirates Expo, uh, now Destination Dubai. Uh, just epic uh, memories from the uh, from the year. So. Uh, and also, uh, I put uh, Captain Mark's first ever appearance on the show on there. Uh, so that's cool. And Fez's first ever appearance and Henry's first ever appearance. So, yeah. Did you put awesome. the bit where I've got my head in my hands in that simulator about to cry <laughs> in front of 5,000 people? You know people. what? You'll have to wait and <laughs> yeah, see. Yeah, you know what? There's something like that in there, actually. Yeah, yeah. There's something along those lines. <laughs> so, yeah, folks, keep, make sure you tuned in for that. We'll try and yeah. play it at the end, and if we don't play it, what I'll do is I'll just set it as a premiere and we can watch it together um, on, on YouTube. Uh, any news on Henry? Um, yes, he's, it's still touch and go at the minute, Terry, so Henry's not going to be back until the new year at the earliest, I would have said. Yeah, he's going through a lot at the moment. So. His dad's still with us, um, but uh, he's still not very good, I'm afraid. So. Yeah, we heard from him just yesterday, didn't we? And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like yeah they're in a pretty bad place, aren't they, I think? Yeah, so again, it's 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 kind of slightly ideal timing because we can actually just say, listen, like let's just start again in a new year. Yeah, just like we're doing with our shows and with Fez's show as well. So, what are you all gonna do a week without airliners live? Hey, I'm sure uh, plenty of other live streamers will uh, fill up the hours that we we filled, and um, um, you know, it's nice to have a little break from from it yeah. as well. Uh, uh, we'll still be uploading uh, to like Facebook and, and Twitter and, and not Twitter, um, Instagram uh, and uh, 
just little clips and things here. But uh, live shows will not be uh, streamed until the, the new year. Nabila sending the 199 super chat in saying, um, Andy, hello. You doesn't say hi to me anymore, says Nabila in the chat. <laughs> hello, Nabila. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're in trouble. I don't, I, yeah. I, I, I tend to like say hello when I sort of uh, sort of have a, a break to say hello. Otherwise, yeah, it's, uh, it can be quite. But I think Mark said hello to you. Yeah. And I, I said hello. Or Santa, sorry. Santa did. Santa did, yeah. Um, if we're not good enough, you know what I mean? I'll, get, I'll see how it is. Um, we've got Aer Lingus Flight 45, Aer Lingus UK, should I say, or Green Flight. Is that the call sign they use these days still? <laughs> Green Flight um, 9, Victor Kilo, heading off to New York JFK Airport. Yeah, and that's an A321 Neo. That'll be in shot soon. <laughs> Hey Andy, you got a kid shouting at you going, There's an elf on the top. Oh, <laughs> I will say hello to him, he's by the flag. Oh, oh now he's, he's on the floor. He's on the floor. <laughs> oh, I think he's a bit distracted now. He's distracted by the flag in it. Yeah, that's kids for you, isn't it? Louise is off on holiday with Jet 2, don't forget me postcard. Lovely job, yeah. eh? It's like uh, Dakota will come in the room like screaming at you, like trying to get your attention because she's just excited about something she wants to show you. And then by the time she's got your attention, she's seen something else and forgot what she was going to tell you initially. <laughs> she might see something on TV and just stand there, like, hypnotised by what she's seeing. It's like, oh, well. When my oldest was little, she used to have these tantrums in the uh, supermarkets, throw herself on the floor, so I used to join in. <laughs> and then she'd start laughing and stop. And then I got a dummy. I used to say, stop spitting your dummy out. I'm not... So I'd get yeah. this dummy out of my pocket, put it in my mouth, spit it out, and then go, wah! And she'd just <laughs> laugh and stop, you know. Great way of that's a, that's a brave, brave I'm, way to do it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not brave enough for that. Yeah, I, 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 I just crease up. I can't yeah. do, can't do it. Dakota hates being called like a baby, though. I think it's probably the same with yours, where when they're like belittled as a baby for for acting like a baby, that that's when they get the. Uh, that's when they sort of try and sort it out. <laughs> I've just heard from a mate of mine who used to fly the 7A. Um, I asked him about the hot brakes and all that. He said they, they're not prone to it. Um, he said it could be a. Um, an issue with a minimum minimum equipment list issue. So what you have is a minimum equipment list book, and it's what you can take the aircraft with. So okay, we've got two flight computers that will fly with one. Um, you can you know we looked at these strikes on the engines. It can be missing. It can have this off. It can have that missing. And there are certain things in there that um, if maybe you're missing a brake where you have to leave the gear down for a bit to cool the other brakes down. So it might be an issue with that. He said. Ah. There you go. I, I, I don't know about TUI in particular, but I've seen it a few times with Dreamliners especially. I don't think I've ever seen another yeah. aircraft do it. Maybe yeah. an A350 maybe I've seen it do it as well. Maybe the, the, one of the Virgin ones we had yeah. based here. So that going back to that 350 with the stuck parking brake, I mean, that's that's got to be pretty rare, that surely, isn't it? Stuck on, but is it not I a way of like? I had a mate have it have it on an on an Airbus at Newcastle a few a few years back, and it wasn't the parking brake that stuck; it was one brake caliper stuck on, and they taxied out, and suddenly they just get this hot brakes warning on one side, one brake, and it was really high, really high, and um, I, I I can't remember the full story. He did tell me about it, but they they managed to get it back onto stand. But the aircraft was on the ground. You know, had to have whole brake pack checked. Um, it's changed rather. Uh, it is very very rare, very rare. So I don't know exactly what the failure was on the because the, again the brake systems on the on the Airbuses are quite complicated. Yeah. So it's not um, just a case of an emergency drain on that. No, I, I don't pressure. know what it is. I mean, it could even be as simple as the actual parking brake switch has failed because it's only a little switch, unlike the Boeing where you've got. A, Handle the pull. Yeah. Um, it's it's got this little this clicky switch, and if that you know if it's it could be that it could be a seized brake, it could be also it could be shuttle valves, non-return valves. I wouldn't know where to start with it. It's mm, just yeah. again because obviously it was made worse by the fact that that taxiway, the bit of the taxiway was closed. closed yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they they were trapped between. Yeah. There was everyone behind them just going out on yeah. the intersection. That would have been infuriating as oh, a passenger, yeah. wouldn't it? Seeing everyone yeah. going and, out. And, and the people on the Cafe Pacific 
probably didn't know that they were also holding up. Like, yeah. you know, the passengers probably didn't know that there was passengers behind because they were stuck. You know, they, they probably thought they were the only ones. Yeah. And then they probably disembarked and seen, or when they started taxi, and seen all these other aircraft stuck. Mad, isn't it? Well, I got a heads up. I, I was listening on the radio at the time, and um, I heard them say about, you know, the aircraft being blocked. I'd, saw it on, I'd seen it on our group chat yeah, at work, and they were saying, oh, you know, it's, it's blocked. Oh, OK, fair enough. And that was hours before I got to work. And then I started hearing people asking, because um, I think it was, they were going off Alpha Foxtrot, which is where we normally go from. And they were asking us if we were able via Bravo. And uh, I'd already done the performance, knew we could. And I was like, yeah, we can go, off we go. And straight off and off we went, nice. sort of thing. I was going to say, i seen you didn't have to backtrack, did you? you just no, I just fl- flew straight out. Yeah. Tolga, bit of Tolga? Uh, no, 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 we still had a flex, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, Roger Tempero, thank you very much for the 899 super chat, mate. Supporting the channel, really appreciate you, Roger. Thank you very much. Thank you, Roger. That's huge. Is, it, is anyone else getting like on the super chats? Little like, are they Christmassy related things, like little snowflakes and stuff on the, or have they always been there, like little fireworks? I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh yeah. Try work out if they're something new. I don't know. And uh, Ryan saying, do companies pay for their own livery on easy jet planes? Um, how mu- and if so, how much to get an airliner's live one? And can uh, oh, he did, I did, I've just read one where he said, can, can I get it sorted to have an airliner's live one? <laughs> yeah, they, they wouldn't go for they that. They would not do <laughs> no, that. They wouldn't Absolutely go for not. that. Absolutely no. not. Oh, well, yeah, the Europe car one, I think, is, is a partnership, isn't it? Yeah. More than, uh, yeah, they have the old little advert one, and so you know you have your retro color schemes. But yeah, they're very funny about that. Yeah, I can't think of any airlines that just have generic adverts on, even like Ryanair, which would uh, like they even have like. I think uh, it's missing a trick there, isn't it? Really? <laughs> maybe because Ryanair yeah. have a lot of like affiliates and things, don't they? Like with a uh, like hire cars and hotels and stuff. Greg yeah. tuning in from Vermont, USA. Welcome to you, mate. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I've ever seen an airline with like a. a a really random advert on the side. Wow, yeah. apparently the Tui Dreamliner departed from Bravo for Punta Cana. Good guy. That's surprising, eh? Yeah, that's good going, that. Yeah. It's good going. We've seen a yeah. few, didn't we? Watch When we were doing the live show from Zero Five, when we were doing Zero Five, we were at Southside, and we've seen a few using that. The last one that's open, right? Yeah. And we were always like, oh, are they going to do it? Like, surely a triple seven's not going to, it's going to backtrack. And even the triple was just going straight out. Hold on. Uh, there isn't one for five five minutes. Herbert saying doesn't make five minutes. minutes. It's a business jet. Oh, it's a business jet. Net net net. Oh, it's flex jet. Sorry, flex jet Malta Legacy Five Hundred coming in. That's just turning on the. Uh, the base leg now Herbert asking a question saying is there much difference uh, as a pilot between the CEO and the, the Neo yeah I've just seen that one yeah I like the, I prefer the Neo um, there are there, there are slight differences um, you've got different limitations uh, different crosswind limitations on takeoff I think on the Neo it's a bit, little bit lower uh, you've got different starting um, times and temperatures and limits on the engines and they will crank as well if, if the air, aircraft's warm. They'll sit there and turn themselves for a minute. Um, Handling-wise, I've said it before on the channel, that the Neo, I find, handles quite nicely. I quite like it. Uh, 319's really nice. The CEOs are a bit sluggish, and the ones with the sharklets, I find, are, are, are horrible. Um, they, they just don't respond very well at all. But, I mean, it's, it's minor things. You know, it's, it's still an Airbus, and you're still going to do the same thing. So, but there's, there's slight differences. Yeah. Inside, they're all the same. I got Cookie saying, I, what happened to the radar box map? I like that one. Yeah, it's still there. Uh, we're just not using it at the moment. Well, we're not, yeah, we're not using any of the uh, the PC setup at the moment because uh, Windows has got a bit of a memory leak. So we've uh, we've switched that off for now just so that we don't interrupt the show this week. And I'm going to yep. take that home over Christmas and 
try and reinstall windows and if that don't work we'll, we'll smash it with a hammer <laughs> your missus a lucky girl eh looking well. forward to spending Christmas with you you're going to be messing about <laughs> hey, I'll well. still be sat next to you I'll just have the PC one yeah. step on oh. you'll have Elf on <laughs> <laughs> well you know what I sat with me we sat on the floor at the minute ah I, I I don't know if I even want to go there. To I was going to say, it's a negative story, but it's, uh, I mean, it's quite a big one, isn't it? Yeah, so me and Mrs. Airliners Live um, ordered a sofa for Christmas. Quite nice one, um, it? Yeah, we saved up a long time for it. We've, we've not had a new sofa since we first moved in together 10 years ago. Yeah, cause yours is a bit. And ours was really, like, not good anymore. It was sinking in the middle and all sorts. It really needed replacing. So anyway... We went out, picked one, they phoned us up and said, um, it's coming on Tuesday. So I said, well, don't forget, I've, I've paid you to take my sofa away. And they're like, no worries, we'll come and get that on Monday. So I said, okay, no worries, we'll see you Monday. Guy turns up Monday, takes me sofa away. Get up Tuesday, nothing arrives. Rang them up, it's not even been delivered to their depot yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, well, why did you take the other one away then? Sofology out in them on the channel I want this with 30,000 views on Reddit as well <laughs> <laughs> yeah Sofology so two th- few days before Christmas Sofology have collected my old sofa and took it away and not delivered me new one so me and Mrs. Airliners Live are currently got the mattress from the spare bed on the floor in the front room and we've been sat on that <laughs> Merry right. Christmas from Sofology there you go guys great guys sounds alright so so you, you are expecting a call though, aren't you? To... Well, I, after I told them I want my money back, they magically said, we will try and get you some loan furniture out. Whether or not that happens, I don't know. We've kind of just accepted that we're going to be sat on camping chairs, um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, yeah. But they've well and truly spoiled Christmas because me and Jen didn't really, you know, do much Christmas presents and stuff. It's like, no, the sofa's going to be our present. You know, and it's that's yeah, it's kind of ruined Christmas a bit for us, but there you go, it is what it is. <laughs> oh, mate, that's it is what it is. Good. It is what it is. I didn't really want to go into it to be honest because I'm pretty angry about it, but there you go. <laughs> I don't think why. <laughs> yeah. So, I yeah, that's why uh, I'm, I'm kind of ever so slightly distracted. I'm checking my phone all the time to see if they've rang me yet because they're supposed to be ringing me and telling me it's what's one of them companies, isn't it? If you don't answer immediately, you've got to call them back and then that revolves. And it's a 40 minute, <laughs> 40 minute wait. So there you go. Yeah. Oh, dear. With that music on. I've got a couple of beanbags in the flat you can borrow for the, for the period. But <laughs> that's about it. Jordan Webb's in the chat. Hello, Jordan. Yo, dude. Hey, mate. How are you doing? You all right? Jordan, are you by any chance flying uh, over the Christmas period? Because uh, I may be on your airline, so to speak, <laughs> at some point, Off. out of Manchester. To Lanzagrotti. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I did look at other airlines, especially Jet 2, though, you know, for the, the 7.5 hype, but they just get so expensive around this time of year. Oh, he's off to Rome tonight. All right, OK. Bless him. And his line check. Oh. Yuck. Is that Legacy 500 coming in with their Flex Jets coming in from Geneva? Mm, that's where I'll be Christmas Day. Oh, joy. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Not quite flying the Legacy 500, though. <laughs> uh, I'd like to be flying my dinner table, but there you are. <laughs> Do you make much use of the Geneva lever? You have to in Geneva. That's what it's called, yeah. the Geneva lever, yeah. <laughs> they, all, they all cut you in tight. Um, Charlie's asking, what's the line check? Um, once every, depend on the airline, once a year or once every two years, you have a train and sit in the flight deck, watch you operate, watch you do your job and uh, how you deal with it and just to make sure you're proficient on the aircraft. Every six months you're in a simulator getting all the emergencies thrown at you and this is their way of making sure that you're actually doing it correctly on the line. Right. So it's never much fun having someone watching you, but... Feet know, like, Harry Bows, imagine it? that's on the flight where you're doing the four or five hour flight. Oh, oh yeah, they, they, yeah, they shouldn't give put them on there. You know, it should be on something a bit more short, a bit more sensible. But there you go. How often does that happen, sir? Uh, it depends on the airline. Some do it once a year. Some do it once every two years. Depends on on how their sims are worked. Um, mm. We used to do it once a year. Now we use this this line orientated evaluation. So they've they dropped it to every two years now because the LOE is we do it every year. It's uh, like a proper line flight. Really nice livery on this. Is this a colour changing one? 
It, it might be actually. It yeah, is. Watch, a, watch the things to see how they go. It's kind of like goldy brown from this angle. And then they'll go green. Yeah, watch them stripes, folks. Here you go, Mark. So you yeah. see on right on side of this plane. Yeah. Gold, see how they go? Gold. gold. Yeah. Okay, gold. That's definitely gold, isn't it? Right. They'll stay. Oh no, it stays gold for the side on, doesn't it? That's it's gone red. It's gone. No, it's gone red. 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 It's gone purple now. Now it's gone purple. Whoa. And it goes green eventually. <laughs> How cool is that? That's good, isn't it? Ten out of ten, that, isn't well, it? That's some of them apples. That's great. Can someone on Twitch clip that? That's great. Um, Andy, your good lady, young Samantha's asking when can our daughters have another play date? Um, well, when Mark's daughters, yeah. Um, I'm hoping they might be coming down for the task fair. Nice. Um, I'm uh, negotiating with the management at the moment to see if uh, she's all right to come down with the kids. Yeah. Um, I'm supposed to be home on the Saturday, but uh, I, I, I might be down for this. And uh, I know there's some other things in, in the pipeline, so hopefully they might be down then. I think the task fair would be great for you if you could attend, because now you're more of like a start, you know, like recognised on the channel. I think a lot of people will will spot you and. And, you know, for us, the task fair is like a big community meet-up. And, and I'd what. love to do it. It's like a family, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I, you know, I'm on the chats, you know, here and when Fez, whenever I can. And it is, it's like a family. They are, um, yeah. they are, you know, ev you know, I know we've got them over there. I'm looking forward to going and having a natter with them at the end if they're still here. And yeah. actually meeting everyone I'm talking to on this internet, it, it, it's, it is, it's like a little put, family. Put, putting faces to the names uh, yeah. in the yeah, chat. If you, uh, Fez is not invited. If you've not obviously. got it in yeah, Fez is not invited. <laughs> If you, <laughs> God, this is this is never going to end. Is it? If um, yeah, right. if you have not got that date in your calendar yet, guys, um, we will get that announced as soon as possible. But it is sometime in February. Yeah, like the end, and it'll be a Saturday. As and well. it'll be a Saturday. So make sure you come down. It's always a massive event. Um, and here at Airliners Live, we'll be uh, we'll be all there and uh, getting involved with me, myself, and Mrs. Airliners Live, and John, and Andy, and Sam, and yeah. Dakota, and all, everybody's going to be down. And just use it as an ex excuse to come down to the RVP and do a bit of spotting and yeah. hang out with the gang. And just you'll also just meet so many people who are in the chat all the time that you know. Again, you put a face to the name. So yeah, no, it's a really good event, and we we always look forward to it. And of course, we'll uh, we'll have lots of merch to sell as well. We'll uh, try and get some new designs um, of things before the show, uh, before the event as well. Do you yes. not mean you'll have lots of merch for Fez at Steel again? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to put the kids in that 360 sim. Oh um, yes, that's great. I, I just got in it and just became a hooligan. It was great. You yeah. know? 360 sim. Yeah. Really good fun. I went in with Little and she we we did uh, I think it was five rolls and a couple of loops. <laughs> <laughs> she came out looking a bit green, and then the 12 year old's like, Don't go upside down, daddy. And we've got this video of me just going, Yam with the stick. You go, <laughs> and you just hear this, as the thing goes upside That's down. what happens, Andy, as well. <laughs> did, did we you? both came in nervous. We were eating. We were eating ginger biscuits by the car before we came in because we both thought, oh, God, we're not going to enjoy this. Yeah, we, we got motion sick easy. And then, um, and then that was it. As soon as I got in, yeet, yeah. like, it started doing loops, flips, all sorts. And then oh, it got to the it. end of it. And Andy was like, we need a few more shots of these loops from the outside. So I was like, go on, I'll have another go. Go yeah. back in. And give you it were it. just going up crazy, weren't you? Proper hooliganism. I was like, right, I'm just going to do loops for three minutes straight. <laughs> and if you don't get enough footage from that, I'm going home. Yeah, Sam's still not been in it. Fezzer and Flemo. Oh, it was it Fezzer and um, Matt who went in it, wasn't it? Do you remember that when yeah. they were saying, oh, we're going to be doing loads of flips and yeah. I'll show you how it's done. Didn't do one. Didn't even go inverted once. Uh, didn't do is. one. <laughs> didn't 25th even. of Feb is the event date. Listen to these. Here we go. just asked me do I have to do a non-precision approach on my line check no we don't do that here we do all of that sort of stuff in the sim so uh, just you lot by the looks of it sounds fun mate <laughs> no <laughs> I think of all the, the of all the jets we get at Manchester I think the uh, the Pratt and Whitney's probably have the most distinct sound on the yeah. taxi 
It's that whistle and that kind of like high pitched whine to them as well. It sounds very modern. Ooh, Neil's look at just this. About to catch the sun. Oh, that Scandinavian over there. We love this livery. We yeah, have... when you come down, guys, put your Airliners Live merch on mm. so that other people wandering around the event will see you because there's a lot of really good stalls on the event. Um, and. Um, I'm sure you'll see each other wandering around, and it should be a really good meet-up. I'm really looking forward to it, actually. Oh, yeah, the RB211s, they're also very distinct yeah. on the taxi. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I all be like the legend Terry Edwards, who had a name badge on him as well. He did. <laughs> which is great, because people, you know, obviously we don't know, know what you guys look like, and you guys know what we look like, so sometimes it's a bit awkward knowing who you are and things. Yeah, and, and please don't do what a few people did last year and come up and say... Do you remember me? Do you know who I am? <laughs> or they go, or they say, um, oh, I'll give you a guess who I am. Oh, no. That's the, please don't do that, guys, because <laughs> you can imagine how many names me and Andy see during a show. And I don't want anyone to feel like they should be known and we're not knowing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We're also really bad with names as well. We're so. terrible, but like, I I'm, just don't want anyone to feel like they're not recognised, you know, because... Just come up, let us know who you are, and um, and have a good chat with you, because um, we love meeting you guys. But yeah, uh, don't put us on the spot, please. <laughs> that happened a couple of times last year, and I felt awful for it as well. Can't even remember Fez's name, can I? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm so hyped. That's literally, like, one of my favourite things of the year with regards to Airliners Live, is that that task fair it's yeah. twice, twice a year we do it there's one in the summer and one in the winter by what happened last time Sam was I just totally oblivious to I don't know she fell off failed last task event oh she didn't do too well on hers because she has a stall as well doesn't she oh it's in sales wise yeah right okay I mean there will be a lot of people who haven't sold that much on the event as well yeah. it's not just going to be you obviously you can't just look at like the airliners live stand and compare to that because our, we, we've kind of thought outside the box with the TAS event and we use it as like a community meet up oh it gets ridiculously busy so fast, it? there's that but other when you wander around and have a look at other people's stalls that's, that's kind of how you got to you, you, get, you get yeah. some really unique stalls there. Remember the chap who was, was he called Norm, who was selling um, train spotting DVDs? That's it, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I remember. So you do get like a lot of crazy things. Uh, Brian, yes, it's uh, the fourth, yeah, that's when we're back on the midweek show in the new year. We'll be back, yeah. And hopefully in 4K for everyone, yeah. not just for VIPs, everyone. Yeah. And that'll be the norm. I'm looking forward after the show today, just. Uh, Seeing what speeds we get on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll give that a test. We'll just do a restream test. Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> and uh, William Boyle, welcome back for five months of Airliners Live membership. So I hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas. You too as well, mate. Thank you very much for uh, for tuning in and supporting the channel. Yeah, Sam has our little uh, aviation uh, antiques business um, that she just does on the side. And uh, although a lot of people know her for, like, her modding and also her photography she actually does that as well she's been doing that um, longer than she was a mod on airliners live for example and on the last task fair she had a stand uh, next to ours so um, the one going forwards we'll try and do the same get her next to us and and um, yeah should be should be good i think we're being moved this year <laughs> Because of the chaos we caused last Oh, week. my gosh. That was ridiculous. I need to remember to that, speak that, to Alison about that. that that's, it didn't stress me out, but that was a bit of a shocker when we had a queue that went, like, quarter way down the Concorde hangar. Yeah, that was... Uh, it was a bit of a... Oh, oh. Bad one. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of a... Not our fault, though. <laughs> Too popular your own good, aren't you? <laughs> now you've got nearly 250,000 subs, you know, subscribers. You might have uh, even a bigger queue. Well, no. And yeah. shout out to all the mods as well who helped us behind the uh, the counter. Because uh, yes, obviously, big shout out to Mrs. Airline is live because she literally takes that event into her hands and really likes to manage it. But yeah, also, Matt we had like was helping. John was John, helping. Yeah. It was Flemo it was as well. Even helped a little bit as well.
beautiful Scandinavian Neo making an appearance. Departing 2 3 right as well. Why how quiet they are these days? And you think even when the Dreamliner goes off, how, you oh, know, yeah. how many people are on that and how far it's going and how quiet it is. You know, yeah. Remember years ago, standing at the end of Heathrow, you know, we're having the old 747 100s and the Tri Stars and the DC 10s and. Uh, you know, Concord go over my head and, you know, you'd be out there for a day spotting, taking photos, you come back and your ears are bleeding. <laughs> it's just unbelievable, the noise difference. Hey, we, we even had uh, Noel Phillips helping us behind the counter, if anyone, if anyone remembers that. <laughs> 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 it was uh, Paul Davies was uh, helping us behind the counter and someone turns to him and goes, oh my God, it's Noel Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> that was too funny. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we've got a lot of aircraft pinging on the ground at Manchester at the moment, including one of the first, maybe the first Jet 273 we've seen today, um, which looks like it's doing a repositioning flight um, with that call sign. It ends in Bravo. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, we've got a Pegasus uh, A320 Neo that we've seen come in earlier, pinging up for uh, Istanbul, Pegasus Flight 1180. And on approach, we've got... Uh, an aircraft coming in from Reykjavik, uh, and it's an EasyJet A320. Reykjavik currently uh, um, 23 knot winds at uh, minus one degrees Celsius up there. I've had a few issues up there, haven't they, in Reykjavik recently with the the conditions? Mm. I know one of our VIPs, the Plane Spotting Channel, had a. I think he'd just been up there, and he was saying how he, he got stuck stuck there a bit longer. I remember being up there years ago. Um, I mean, last airline we used to be based up there from time to time, so we'd uh, we'd go up there. And uh, I remember coming in, positioning up on a BA flight, land, gin clear day, not a cloud in the sky, absolutely beautiful. And uh, get in the cab, go to the hotel around because we landed at Keflavik, and then the hotel was in Reykjavik. Get round there, check in, go up to my room. Could hear this noise. Open the door, open the you know the curtains, and there's like half a foot of snow on the floor. I'm like, Whoa! Oh, don't remember that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That would be an amazing place to go spotting. I don't think there's like any good spotting locations at uh, 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 Um because could you imagine the amount of seven fives you see there? Yeah. And, and um, Sukhoi so super jets landed where the wheels up as well when they're test flying. That was that was quite good fun. All oh, right, <laughs> that closed it for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And because um, obviously they they have frequently fly in the Iceland Air specials there. They've even got seven sixes. Air Canada Max was in there last time I was there. Oh, nice. 737 Max coming from Air Canada. I thought. But um, sadly, we won't, uh, probably won't see an Iceland Air 767 here at Manchester again. <laughs> Not for the last one. Didn't end too well. It was a strange one, that, because we caught it live on the stream, and it had a bit of a bump on the touchdown, but I'm, I'm, I'm sure we've seen much harder than that landings. And uh, sadly, the, the cabin kind of fell apart a little bit. <laughs> Uh, a few of the oxygen masks fell. A few panels from the roof fell. Um, it's quite an old one, though, isn't it? That, that one's mm. about 23 years or something. That's it? it, yeah. It might have just been more of a... Well, the, the thing is with the 7.5, the, 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 you've got the four-wheel trucks. The back wheels hang down like the 330. If you look how a 330 greases on with the mm. back wheels. Butter with machine. It, yeah, with the 7.6, the front wheels hang down. A bit like the 350, not the 1,000, but the others, and also the 380. So the front wheels are hanging down, so you're driving them in the ground. Yep. And everyone I know who's flown the 7.6 said it's hard to get a nice landing up because of the wheels hanging down and just into ah, the runway. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If they're yeah. hanging down backwards and, you know, hanging... Like you know, the butter machine. The yeah, well, yeah. It's like the opposite. <laughs> yeah, it's completely the opposite. The opposite of the there's butter a, there's machine. There's a few videos on YouTube when the 350 came out of hard landings on the 350 and it's sort of like... Mm -hmm. whoosh, hammers down a bit. So. Is the Airliners Live 2023 calendar out yet? <laughs> Mate, we sold out of that calendar weeks ago. Oh, they, they, they're they gone. You need to be keeping a close eye on the channel, dude. We sold out of that weeks ago, I'm afraid. Sorry, yep. mate. They're on eBay for triple the price on now, probably. <laughs> John uh, Fezzer bought 19. I'm not sure why. <laughs> I've seen uh, Paul saying apparently it's really expensive in Iceland. Have you have you been there? Like, yes. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, like I said, my last airline, they used to put you up there for a few weeks at a time. And I was with a, 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 work, a, a not very good bank at the time, and they kept cancelling my card every time I tried to use it. And then I was like stuck in Iceland for a fortnight with no money. It was uh, oh. it wasn't much fun, but yeah, it, even back then, I mean, this is 16, 17 years ago now, maybe more. Um, mm. It was it was very expensive. 
Is this calendar? Is this the one where you like all in your mankinis doing them funny no, poses? No, no, no. That's, that's on a different. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> on top of that, that's oh, true. Okay. <laughs> that's that's just crew seating up. That. That's is yeah, it. Yeah, is, it's is only it? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah exactly. I heard, I heard club members. We sent them one yeah. out for free. I've heard Melissa's putting a big order for those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> needs fuel for a fire. <laughs> Hope you're all enjoying the uh, the final midweek or just at Manchester show of the year. And you know what we haven't done yet? And maybe we can give the honours to Santa. We haven't had a word yet. Now, every word so far, or phrase... You can have a word with me, so you're not happy about <laughs> So what we've, what we've been doing recently, right, is some point in the show we'll have a phrase that people who are watching pre-recorded, not people who are watching live, doesn't, doesn't matter to you guys at the moment. Don't the people who are watching when they get home from work this show. Yep, they, they have a phrase they write in the comments just to see how many people watch for this long pre-recorded. So, Mr. Mark, you can choose what you would like people to type it, in the comments that isn't going to get us banned on YouTube. It could be, it could be a, a silly phrase or it could be a Christmassy phrase. Last, the last few have been sauces. What do we have, like hot sauce? Um, was it brown sauce? Was Santa's sack. There you go. <laughs> yes, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're still watching... <laughs> I knew you'd fix all of that. If you've been watching for this long, the phrase you need to type in the chat... In the comments. In the comments, not in the chat. Is Santa's sack. Yeah. And that's for people watching pre-recorded, so not people who are watching live right now. That's yeah. the clean one, that is. <laughs> Santa, I can find what's going through you. your head as you're thinking <laughs> that. There you go. Oh, yeah. There you that, go. Yeah. That's going to be a very strange comment section, isn't it? And I do like how people creatively put them phrases in, in the... Uh, in the comments as well, so we'll see what that <laughs> results in. No, Solar Eclipse, I was just joking, mate, that, that people were scalping them. It's not real. Like, No, we were just selling them on our website, and they've completely sold out, I'm afraid, mate. Sorry about that. Yes. I was just on eBay trying to get one. But, <laughs> <laughs> but we'll be wrapping up today's show shortly, guys, and we'll be trying to bring you the end-of-year video as well, which we'll probably start getting ready on that shortly. I've actually got an item of merch on me at the moment, which I was going to show off on the stream. I might show off towards the end, and I'll give this one to Santa. I know he travels a lot around a lot. Maybe he can go on a, an item of uh, of baggage or whatever. Um, it's the Airliners Live luggage tag, um, and it's a it's a metal like a premium feeling one with le leather strap on it as well. And um, Easy to convertible to a necklace for those gangster rappers out there. Exactly. <laughs> well, exactly if yeah. you're up the grind bars, spitting your bars out. You well, know. I love the person who, I still laugh at that comment. <laughs> person who said, this is by far the worst piece of merchandise you've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> and it was in response to me posting as a gangster rapper with my airliner's live necklace on. I said, don't worry, mate, they're just luggage tags. I'm only joking. <laughs> this is by far. <laughs> I could hear the Nigel from here. Yeah. <laughs> Should have said stick around, it's worse to come. <laughs> so yeah, they're not still not still not on the store, the luggage tags. We'll add them soon. Airliners live mankinis for the win. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well we nearly bought some of that instead of these out elf outfits. <laughs> but we thought better not. Uh, mind you, it's quite cold out there, you You'd be getting lots of donations for your missus because they'd be feeling sorry for her. Yeah. <laughs> no worries, John. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Hope Cheers, you have a Joe. great Christmas. Have a good one. And as I say, we'll be wrapping the show today with the uh, year roundup that Andy edited yesterday. Yep. There and may be, uh, again, a little uh, transition of a black screen. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we'll do that. It means we can say goodbye on the camera as well, I guess. Yeah, we'll probably get that ready because chances are the A380 is going to be really late. And I do want to test this equipment yeah, before Yeah, let's we go. have an A380 update, shall we? Because that was due out about 15 minutes ago. Uh, as you know, it usually runs a little bit late. Uh, oh, Grabbing to be fair, cheeky look. Um, the upper air bridge is disconnected. All the cargo doors that I can see look closed. Okay. It's just a lower... 
the lower um, air bridge seems to be still attached. I could be wrong. It could just be like, I can't see it probably. The chocks are still on by the looks of it as well. A lot of people standing by ready for it to start moving. So it might not be that long until we... Uh, these guys have a little dance, are they? Right, okay, so we've just had a look at a little bit of wizardry that I applied for and didn't get access to. Oh. <laughs> but um, <laughs> we'll uh, hopefully catch the A380 before the end of today's show. It's not held up by any slot, and it's due out three minutes ago. So chances are we may get lucky, folks. Yeah, it would be nice to end the year on the, uh, on the A380, wouldn't it? Bit of a shame not to. As long as nobody sets the slides off again. Should we have one more of these cards then? <laughs> go on. Um, let me have a look. Here we go. This is a good, a good one. Would you rather decorate a thousand Christmas trees or wrap a thousand presents? I'd definitely go presents. I mean, presents are a lot quicker, right? <laughs> Jen would probably go Christmas trees. She does like that, doesn't she? She's very proud of her Christmas trees, right? Yeah. See, I'm stuck with the dilemma because I do my house every year. Up ladders, you know, lights, you can see it from orbit. Um, but when it comes to doing the tree side of it, that's that job is delegated. So I'd have to... And my present wrapping apparently is appalling. I wrapped the wife's presents in a newspaper one year. So, uh, you know yeah. what me and Jen do? Huh? Or what Jen does and I steal some of? She buys the big rolls of brown packing paper. You know, the, the scrunch up and put in Amazon parcels yeah. and stuff. We use that, wrap the presents in that, and then she buys, you know, the long string, multicolored string ribbon, and she just puts ribbon around it. Looks 10 out of 10. Yeah. Well cheaper than yeah. uh, wrapping paper, guys. So if you want to save a little bit of uh, money on Christmas this year, there's Mrs. Airliner's Lives Life Hack for 2022. There you go. Brown packing paper. And then you just buy a roll of ribbon, and it saves you an absolute fortune, guys. Mrs. L. Lines Live saying, what was the question again? <laughs> um, would you rather wrap a thousand Christmas trees, uh, a thousand Christmas presents, or do a thousand Christmas trees? See, I give my darling wife's presents to the children and say, I'm at work, wrap those, please. <laughs> <laughs> you live here for free. <laughs> <laughs> you live here for free. <laughs> <laughs> And they do a much better job than I would. Yeah. Some people just have that that uh, natural talent when it comes to wrapping presents, don't they? Yeah. I just have a natural talent for delegating it to somebody who can do it. Would you rather be stuck at the North Pole by yourself or with somebody that you dislike? I was going to say, he's, he's normally stuck there by himself anyway, isn't he? By myself anyway. <laughs> by himself, yeah, so yeah, too never right. by myself. <laughs> too right. There we go. Why, why would anyone pick with someone they don't well, like? Well, if you get lonely, isn't I it? Get, I, get, I guess it's lonely. entertaining, isn't it? Spend me working week when I'm not at work, sitting in a flat on my own, so I'm quite yeah. used to it. quite like my own company. That's why I talk to myself, I get the right answers. There's some weird cards in here. Would you rather have snowflakes for eyelashes or icicles for teeth? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, mate. Like, is any of them as good as each other? Uh, Transat A3 is early on the taxi out. Thank God for that. That would be the earliest Jet 273 rotation I've ever seen on this test flight. I was going to say, that's not Jet 2 like, is it? No. Ooh, it does sound good, though. That's going to go and do a test flight by the looks of things. So give it a track on radar and see where it ends up. It, they usually I mean, take them up, up north, don't they? Maybe. Judging by that takeoff, I'd say it works. Yeah. <laughs> Out to the North Sea, quick depressurization, 7700, and back in again, isn't it? So it normally works. <laughs> oh, you're good ladies back to work, young Andy. Oh, well, enjoy. Bless her. Have a lovely Christmas, missus. I'm still scanning through cards here. <laughs> Barry says, person you dislike, you may end up friends after all. Yeah, person who you dislike, at least you could, like, 
eat them if, yeah. it, if you need to. <laughs> yeah. Eat them. I'm trying to think, how can I say this politely? Yeah, well, <laughs> you've, you've done it, yeah, so. Yeah, I'll have a two on the way up. Nice end into the show then, eh? We got, uh, oh, is that Jet Bridge pulling back from the A380 as well? Is it? Have I got eagle eyes today or I got wonky eyes? Oh. You know. You're Matt Smith, are you? Yeah. We got this uh, Ryanair flight 6954 coming in from Mercia. And the final question for the chat today, I think we're running out of cards that make sense now. <laughs> Would you rather have 100 spiders in your room or 10 reindeers? 10 there reindeers. <laughs> 10 reindeers. 10 reindeers. Depends what kind of spider, right? Well, yeah, I, I guess don't, so. don't mind the little ones. But when they're bigger than a plug outlet on the wall, like I've had experience <laughs> with, then... <laughs> Everyone's saying reindeers, pretty much. Okay. 100 money spiders saying uh, Paul Davies. Yeah. You never see him. Ron's asking... Uh, does a squirrel have four feet or two hands and two feet? So he spent a full shift thinking about it. Ah. <sighs> That's like in the quiz where we had uh, how many fingers the Simpsons have. And literally every answer was wrong because <laughs> it's like, is it, you know, three fingers and a thumb? Or is it four? Right, chat, do we quickly switch back over before these heavies go out to the new system? Depends how long the switch is. Uh... It's about switching the audio as well. It'll be a switching the audio. Yeah, make sure it passes audio and check, check, check. It is passing audio. Okay, well, I can see audio. To the right source, though. I mean, um, Andy, your good lady's saying she's got four fingers and a thumb. Fun fact. All mm. right, that's more than a lad up in the northeast. I know yeah. who um, <laughs> played with fireworks one day, and now he's known as Johnny Nayfingers. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't go well. Right, we'll be a couple of seconds with a black screen for the final time today and we'll get these uh, these cameras back on. And we'll be back on, on the multi-cam as well, so... Fingers, fingers crossed. I don't need that, do I? All four fingers crossed. Right, stand by. Uh, oh, eight. A380 is pinging as well. Amazing. Um, right, brain. Let me... Uh, I'm just... I'm just working this out before I uh, before I click it. Yep, we've got uh, an EasyJet lining up on the runway. That'll be followed by a Ryanair, and then that'll be followed by an Air Transat A330 and a TUI Dreamliner. Okay. Um, and then obviously the A380 soon as well. Does all its magic. Um, five chance, five, uh, five, five chance mods. Are we good? Oh, I can hear someone. Yeah, sorry guys, that, it, the encoder actually stops broadcasting. It's never done that before. It shouldn't stop broadcasting if... Uh, is that you? Oh, it's 5-5 five, five from John, so you're going to you have to come out and go back in. Um, yeah, I don't know why it stopped broadcasting. That wasn't in the plan, but there you go. But uh, we should be back now with the multicam. Shall we have a check? Shall we see if we're still on? Are we still here? Hey, people are just joining like, wow, what's going on? All these, what's all these costumes about? <laughs> I, love how, I love how I went to the studio camera mark. Like, quick, <laughs> get me beard up. <laughs> Chaos. Need me beard, quick. Let me show off the, uh, have we got time? I think we have. I can show off, guys, the, uh, oh, it's like hard What to are you trying to show? It's in my pocket. It's in my inside pocket, though. <laughs> Which is a pain to get to with all this on. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. I can do it. Jonathan Curran, thank you very much for the two pounds super chat supporting the channel today. Look, we're dressed up like Christmas. I'm the elf. He's an elf. Look at that. And Santa's where somewhere, there he is. <laughs> oh, do you want it here? And Mark can have that. Uh, sorry, Santa can have that. <laughs> here it is. The airliner's live gangster medallion. <laughs> You'll be able to get these online, ladies and gents. Look, perfect. The, the metal, they're made of uh, nickel and um, the silver, shiny, and have a leather strap. Uh, these are luggage tags. Nice and heavy, actually. Nice, heavy metal luggage tags for when you go on holiday. 
You don't lose your luggage. You know whose it is. There they are. They'll be going on sale very, very soon. Yes, we'll have plenty of them, hopefully, left over for the task fair as well, hopefully. Um, right, let's spin around and catch the action on the runway. Straight away with a Ryanair 737. Mark's <laughs> dead. <laughs> oh, no. What's happened to Santa? Sorry, kids, no presents this year. We've just killed Santa. It's too much eggnog, isn't it? I know. That's what it does Have you been here. drinking them Westman? <laughs> <laughs> it's just empty bottles on the floor. It's like Fez's, right. be like Fez's bedroom. <laughs> when he walks to the, the toilet <laughs> mid-show and all you can hear is <laughs> wading through the bottles. And we've also got the video ready for you guys as well. Yes, so we'll be bringing you that. That that has the monitor output set on it as well. That you've has the monitor output set. Yeah, like you might have to go on studio mode and go on that scene and right click it and advanced audio. Yes, good thinking, Batman. Actually, so we've got a Ryanair coming in. Uh, this aircraft coming in from Paris. Uh, has the screen just gone off for anyone else, or is it just me? Just you, I hope. No. Okay. No picture. Yeah, people sit in the chat saying no picture. I mean... He's brought... Oh, it's back again. Oh, there he is back again. <laughs> and I stepped on his sack, yes. <laughs> Tripped <laughs> over it. It's yes. so big. That's Ryan. Uh, is this also a Max? We've just had three Max movements in a row. One arriving, one departing, and another one arriving. This one coming in from Paris. People saying it's back now. Good. Well, all I clicked was studio mode, so that shouldn't have changed anything on the output. Weird. <clears throat> yeah, it hurt. I got cookies. It really hurt. Like, oh, dear. <laughs> And you get Ryanair 73 Max touch down. And now the Air Transat A330. This is going to sound nuts. Oh, yes. I'm so hyped for this. Departing. Jet 2 test flight's on its way back in. This is an A330 200 series heading back to Toronto, which is just under 3,000 nautical miles from here in Manchester. Again, yeah, these sound great. I, I I find the 200 series for some reason usually sound a bit loud. I don't think it's. I think you might be using the uh, CF6 engines on board, so I do find that they are louder than the Rolls Royce Trent 700s. Here we go. Takeoff roll has begun. Oh, nice. We actually uh, just caught a pilot friend of ours on stream. Nice. Heading back to uh, London. Oh, awesome. Very nice, indeed. Yeah, I, I don't know if she wants to be on the, on the stream, so I won't read her name out. Well, that's cool. That's awesome. She was on the beta team. She's actually on the development team for Phoenix, actually. Um, yeah, I don't know why people are getting adverts. Apparently, some people just got a load of adverts. Yeah, I just got one. On you just got one as well, yeah. mid-stream. Yeah. Well, that's naughty, isn't it? It's Fezzer. It's no, I, I asked Fezzer, <laughs> I said, did you accidentally run ads? He said no. Oh, weird. I don't know what's going on yeah, there. Yeah, you can manually do it on it. Yeah, you can. we can manually push an advert, guys, but none of us have clicked it, yeah, so we I don't know we what's never, going on We there. never run adverts on YouTube. And Mate. Bron's asking me, what's the best view landing to a certain airport? Probably Geneva. Yeah. All high ground, if it's a clear day, if it's foggy, it's not. Um, where else is nice? Tenerife's quite good. 
Most of the places I go, I end up going at night, so I never really get to see them. There's uh, one place I go. It's got a great big waterfall. I think it's, I think it's Antalya on the coast. As you come in over the coast, it's a massive waterfall that runs down into the sea. That's quite impressive. It's still working on mine. I'm watching it. Yeah, it's. Yeah, I'm watching mine. Yeah. I think. Is YouTube having issues again? Can you move the. Um... Yeah, it's yeah, no, I can see Ryan there taxing out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. I'm, it's zooming in now on this thing. Yeah. Yeah, I can see this bizjet thing. Some bit. No, I don't re I'm not reciting them. Yeah, it's, it's oh, everything's fine. Barry's asking if I've been into Fulton Chell. Yeah, many years ago in a 757. Um, it's not just Nazareth. So uh, a lot less scary in one of those. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there because Jen lost the stream and other people in the chat said they lost the stream as well. Maybe YouTube had a bit of a, a glitch. <laughs> yeah, we lost about 50% of the viewers. Weird. Because we're down to like 700 viewers now. Mega. Cheers, YouTube. Buzzing. <laughs> yeah, a couple of people have been chucked That's out to Birmingham and Amsterdam streams. <laughs> oh, look at the light now on this A380. Oh, That's gorgeous. Wow. I can still see that penguin hanging down under it, you know. <laughs> you really, you, you know, what's been seen cannot be unseen. Cannot be unseen. Yeah. We've just ruined yeah. this uh, livery for Emirates. So apologies for that, guys, but well, um, they'll get over it. <laughs> they do have some good liveries, so... Um, Wow, that is unbelievable with the dark hills behind and the dark clouds. What a way to end 2022 here on Airliners Live. A little glitch from YouTube, a little present for us. But well worth for those who stuck around to watch the departure of the biggest aircraft in and out of Manchester. Yeah, apologies for everyone who uh, did receive ads, and that wasn't something that we did. As I say, it was just a glitch on YouTube by the looks of it. Yeah, we tend we don't run uh, mid-roll ads on, on YouTube um, because oh, unlike on, I know on Twitch, the, the members don't get mid-roll ads, uh, which is great. Um, but um, on YouTube, sadly, the people who are VIPs still get them ads, so we just turn them off. Um, aircraft just Ooh. gone around as well. I think that's that jet too, isn't it? Oh, is he doing circuits? Then? I don't I guess. know. I've seen this before, you know. There was an exact... It was a, a, a Jet 2737 in the dot-com scheme as well that I've seen doing this. It's just on a go-around, but I think this is the one that was on the... Maybe just want to check and confirm. I think was, it's the test flight that was coming back in, the one we saw take off sharply earlier. Yeah. So it, it may be just part of the test. Something I have seen, or it may there may have been a something on the runway instructed to go around or whatever. We also have the uh, two E Dreamliner now lining up two three right. And thank you all for, for those who who joined us in 2022 and stuck around. Those who sent support, those who watch the streams week in, week out, those who just simply help out a little bit by hitting the like button, or those who interact in the chat, those who help, help answer questions, of course, and those who just are just friendly and, and um, a good sport in uh, the YouTube, Twitch, or Facebook chat. Uh, really appreciate you guys. You guys allow, allow us to do what we love doing for a, a job. This is our full-time jobs. Um, not only live streaming, but we also do a lot of pre-recorded edits and, and obviously photos and, and merch and all that as well. Um, this year, we even moved into our first ever office as well, uh, plus a little upgrade that we needed because we outgrew the original office quite quick. Yeah, within like a couple of months. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, that office, uh, we, we need a bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> so we're now in a bigger office with... Um, with uh, with our filming space as well. Yeah, again, a massive thanks to everyone, guys, who has supported Airlines Live. We'll give you a big thanks shortly. There's a Dreamliner on the roll. Let's get this out, shall we? And Dry Dock, thank you very much for the $10 super chat saying morning. 
Uh, a Merry Christmas from a wintry Canada minus 30 currently. Thanks for the great content throughout the year. Oof, that is seriously cold. goes the Tui Dreamliner and this time the gear going up straight away that beautiful silhouette as we send off the last few departures of the year here at Manchester Airport on Airliners Live uh, and we also started this year by investing quite a lot into upgrades of the channel um, we started this year by upgrading of course the Terror Deck unit uh, obviously that didn't go as well as as we would have liked but it did result in us getting a much better unit later down the year um, but and also, um, we started the year by investing right at the start, actually, in a brand new audio setup. These headsets, for example, uh, the microphone you hear now, and also what was like a field mixer that we had, which was really high end, used on like professional uh, TV broadcasts and, and Netflix studios use them and things. Um, so we, we, we purchased that and then um, obviously moved up the ladder with that and ended up getting this, this road. Um, podcast the unit that we use at the moment as well which I see used by the highest end podcasts around the world and, and it sounds fantastic especially with these headsets and this mic uh, and it's allowed us to um, also um, introduce the bing bong button as well <laughs> and on that note Terry Edwards with a 179 super chat saying have a great Christmas everyone thank you very much Terry I am quite possibly the most scally looking elf You've ever seen me? <laughs> no, if I just put me all up there, like, where, 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 I'm gonna uh, put, it. put the gangster medallion on, yeah, you, you, <laughs> he'll be set. <laughs> Get that free coin, Manchester Elf. <laughs> uh, and obviously, through the year, we upgraded the encoder, we upgraded the setup, we had a, the multicam introduced, um, and this year, actually, we've seen the introduction of this current RVP control tower as well, which we broadcast from. Yeah, massive thanks to the Aviation Society, to the late Mr. Peter Hampson as well for all of his help at the beginning of the year. And to you guys at home, just like Dean, who sent in a £5 super chat saying, best discovery of 2022. Happy Christmas and New Year from uh, to all of the Airliners live team and mods and wonderful viewers from Dean. Thank you very much, Dean. It's very, very kind of you, mate. And to Brian with the 999 Super Chat saying, sitting here in Ohio waiting for a major winter storm. <laughs> Thanks for all you do. I hope it doesn't get you too much, mate. I really do. Yep. Stay, and, uh, stay safe. Ewan with a 449 Super Chat saying, Merry Christmas. Um, all the best for 2023. Thank you very much, Ewan. And uh, again, to everyone who supported the channel, if you've put likes in the chat, you've clicked subscribe, like we've smashed through subscriber things this year. Like we were at 50K at one point. We're now at 250K. The, the memberships, the likes, the viewer numbers, just everything, guys. A massive, massive thanks. And like, like Andy said, we're just super, super happy that we can um, do this as a job. That, that, I just can't believe it. Yep. Still and, can't believe and, it. And we got Fezzer on board doing the weekly live shows uh, on Mondays. We got Henry on board with our expansion, intercontinental expansion into Vancouver, Canada. And then obviously we got Mark here on board as well, uh, helping out with the Pilot Explained series, doing some flight sim, sim shows with us, and also it's doing just been mental. Yeah, it? and and obviously uh, all, all the the mods and, and everyone behind the scenes. It's been unbelievable. A380 is going out for the final time for us here on Airliners Live in 2022. Let's whack the volume right up and enjoy this departure, ladies and gents. Let's get some Airliners Live hearts in the chat as well for the final departure of 2022 for Airliners Live. Louise, thank you for the 179. And Dina, thank you very much for the 179 as well. Feliz Navidad. That's the way to wrap up the year, isn't it? 
That's the way to do it. And we also had uh, Herbert with the 380 super chat there. What a legend. Thank you very much, Herbert. And Tandy Allen, brand new premium economy VIP here on Airliners Live. Guys, if you're not a VIP of Airliners Live yet, I recommend signing up because tomorrow we are going to be doing a VIP only test stream with the new 4K equipment. So keep your eyes on that. If you're not an Airliners Live VIP, make sure you get yourselves signed up because we're going to be testing 4K tomorrow and at some points over Christmas as well. Michael Curtis, returning Premium Economy member, thank you very much. And Esther, welcome back for 10 months in a row. Let's get the squad on camera, shall yeah, we, before we, uh, before we run this video. <laughs> yeah, stick around because we're going to play a, a, a debut of a new video that we just finished yesterday which is the 2022 highlight reel it's about 10 minutes long it's emotional it's good has a lot of memories that maybe you missed or maybe you re remember and uh, stick around because we'll play that straight away but yeah. great show today yeah john o'donnell gifted an airline his live membership to the community thanks santa you're welcome, Phyllis. Thank you, Thanks for having us. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Thanks for yeah. all you out this year as no well, Phyllis. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's been great. Year, Phyllis. Yep. Great to have yeah. you with us. Thanks to you lot. Don't forget that as well. Oh, thank <laughs> you very much. Thanks to Medallion. Yeah, I'll get you a picture of that in the play. Wear it <laughs> nice and proudly. I oh, always do. And uh, Thanks, that's Phyllis. it. Ladies and gents, we hope you have an absolutely fantastic Christmas. Whatever it is you're doing, wherever you are in the world, uh, spend the time with the people you love. Have a great dinner, guys. That's the most important thing. Have an absolutely banging dinner. Get in the VIP lounge. Get in the VIP well. lounge. We're going to sign off here. We're going to have a week off for Christmas. But, guys, what a year. Thank you so much for allowing us to do this uh, for a job. That's that's all I can say. Thanks. And um, we'll keep pushing. 4K is coming. We'll just keep making it better, guys. That's our promise to you for helping us. We'll just make it the best we can. But here we go. Edited by Mr. B, my mate. The so, year of nine, is live, eh? It took about nine hours yesterday to edit this. It took five hours just to get the footage together. So yeah. and I was just sitting there like, I need to finish this today because I want to <laughs> end tomorrow's show with this. So enjoy, guys. Enjoy. And we'll see you Rich. in 2023. And see ya. See you now. See ya. See ya. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> right, now we've got to work this audio out. Stand by. <laughs> How do we pause it? Let's just, let's just pause it and do that. And then go advanced audio properties and yeah, monitor yeah, and yeah, output. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Here it is, guys. Enjoy. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Airliners Live 2022. We hope you had an absolutely fantastic Christmas. Uh, very happy New Year as well. Welcome to the show, guys. It's going to be the big year for Airliners Live. Mm. The first year where we're going into it full time from the very beginning the camera with the uh, mic on the top of it with a brand new sound setup aircraft i think are going to land towards me here today on the mound uh, we just had a hawker take off but we just found someone here look hi here he is you all well Stu from the beluga xl spotters group oh look at the spray Yeah, the visibility has just completely disappeared, hasn't it, Joe? This is beautiful. I'm so happy with this. There it is. You can see the snow building up on your shoulders. <laughs> Basically, so I've just avoided You're it. You've had spam, haven't you? No. <gasps> What's it made out of? I've had, I've had the chopped salmon port, that's what my nan used to call it. You're both missing out big well, time. Once you have spam, you won't go back, I'm telling you. It's is game it over. Like pork or something? It's just like have enough spam in you the don't shop. know what's in it, I'm do you? <laughs> 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 you will not see a t shirt like this anywhere else. He's absolutely smashed it, guys. Bosh! Look at this. Oh, <laughs> yo. A380 lining up, but we'll stick with the Jota for now. I know, it's really cool. Let's look at this with the, uh, the speed brakes up as well, the flaps. And he's off. Oh. You will not see that, ladies and gentlemen, often on Airliners Live. A380 oh last minute go around. Wow. That is unbelievable. <laughs> Eat some bricks in my boots, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, bricks in the boots. Look 
get away from the first officer and the captain, it looks like. We'll try and do some loot the loose. We'll see what happens. We're here, Fly 360 Simulator. Let's give it a go. <laughs> oh! Melton Mowbray Mowbray Mog Pies Mog Pies Melton Pokery Mog Rise <laughs> Say that again We are we are teething this time Melton Mowbray Pork Pies <laughs> And welcome to our first live show here at YVR <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it'd be a Manchester show if it wasn't Ryanair to be the first to use runway two. Absolutely. <laughs> How what fitting is that? A C5A Galaxy land right here in Vancouver, North Runway. Wow. <laughs> Look at them brollies, eh? <laughs> Welcome to the weekly flight sim streams here at Airliners Live. My name is John. Sony. Sony. Hashtag. <laughs> Wish I was sponsored. Yeah, come. Oh, we'll edit that out here. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sony. This. Who knows who this is? <laughs> <laughs> Hey! <laughs> it's a two. Two. Odd number. One. Ah. Come on! <laughs> Yay! Darren saying, how's the weather? Is it dry? Uh, have a look, mate. <laughs> no! <laughs> there's, there's no KFCs around there, though, is it? Uh, no. And also, right, you, you can't, yeah, it's got to be Greg's in Manchester. Right? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. No There's a new video flying to Manchester for Greg's sausage rolls. There you I've landed the wrong airport. <laughs> this is why you shouldn't put <laughs> <laughs> It's either, what was it, dead fish or strawberry banana smoothie? Please be strawberry banana smoothie. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely a dead fish. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the look in his face was just sheer pain in that his face. That is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Airline is live. Birthday stream. Hey. There we go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> A couple of weeks ago, and today's the big day for transporting it up here. So, what brings you here today? Well, I've been racing this 747. Today we've also got Sam with me as well today. Hello everyone. Back by uh, popular demand, <laughs> shall we say, just for the sakes of my ego. Looks like we're streaming at a good bit right as well, that's good, here we go. Audio check, please. Oh no. Audio check. Yes, welcome everyone to the first uh, of the live streams of this week and we're kicking it off with the launch of the Airliners Live Charity 2022 fundraiser, which is now officially live. Mark is joining us here in the upstairs studio 
for the fundraiser. Yep. For the first time, ladies and gentlemen, in Airliner's live history, we have just hit 100% before the charity live show on a Sunday, <laughs> guys. <laughs> well done, guys. G -G. Absolutely smashed it, every single one of you. There's Andy up on the camera as well. <laughs> Hey, you got the bad well, going hey, on. Oh, oh, what? My arm? Right? What? You got to say what's going on. You need to put your arm through. You haven't put your arm through. Oh, right. wow. <laughs> what do you think of that, eh? The legend himself. Just in low pressure, you've drained all the fluid out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, we got a real bit of confusion going on. Yes. Uh, right, so, speed out star. We are in a proper dual hydraulic failure now. Yeah, can I get my jacket on inside? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, five, five quick, five five away. On. Here we go, here we go. Four, three, <sighs> come on. Here we go. <laughs> Look at all the spam in the chat. <laughs> Two. Two. One. Yes! Let's go, son. Woo! Here we go. Look at yes. this. <laughs> we Let's did it. go, guys. Look at that number. That is crazy, man. Look at this. Subscribers. Wow, that's that epic! Is ten out of ten, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> it's so shiny. <laughs> you can see the reflection in the uh, in the play button there. Wow. Nice mounting points there as well. Get it on the wall, of course. That is ten out of ten, isn't it? Hey, Bosh. Hey, we did it, guys. No guarantee you know